عليك عليك لا تقوم الساعة حتى يقاتل المسلمون اليهود فيقتلهم المسلمون فيختبئ اليهود وراء الحجر والشجر فينادي الحجر والشجر قائلا يا مسلم يا عبد الله هذا يهودي خلفي تعالى فاقتل إلا الغرقد فإنه من شجر اليهود and you have no idea how much I hope Allah is going to curse you to the rest of your life. You are Hello and welcome everybody. God bless you. Thank you for joining in. We are live on air. Welcome. I hope you are ready. Are you ready? <laughs> welcome guys. I hope that my sound is loud and clear. Um, it seems that I am buffering from now and then. I don't know why. I think uh, the internet is really, really busy at the moment. So I hope that God will bless this live stream and that we will have not many issues. So we'll see what will happen during the live show so if you have any problems guys refresh i want to say welcome to our dear sister k soko films make sure to subscribe and support her youtube channel too we have also sega blind welcome steve mclean phoebe anymore yusuf masihi mr lonely african christian Willie Hendrick, welcome. Omar Hawari, Peter the Wall, Vic. Hello, Vic. How are you, my friend? Thank you for the many hearts, people. I appreciate it. I appreciate your support. God bless you. God bless your loved ones. Stay safe. I know many people are in lockdown. I think many of us are in lockdown. Maybe the whole world at the moment is in lockdown. But slowly, slowly. Uh, we are winning from this Corona virus. I mean the Corona virus. So keep up all of us in your prayers, guys. Keep our admins in your prayers. We have one admin with us. I think Abdul Halig. Let's see if uh, Phil Herrera and other admins will join us. Welcome. Let us start. Let us start today's live show as you know guys our last live show was about this Adnan Rashid and we really exposed him and refuted him barbecued him and served him for everybody to see you know this guy made a 20 minute video about David Wood because remember David Wood said and challenged the whole Muslim world Show me one ayah that crystal clearly says, that clearly says the gospel is corrupted. The gospel of Allah is corrupted. Show us one ayah, I will bow down and take the shahada. That's what David Wood said and that's what I also said on one of my live shows too. So that was our challenge. But Adnan Rashid was ranting for 20 minutes and he failed miserably he failed to provide an ayah right he failed to provide an ayah from the quran that clearly says the gospel of allah the gospel is corrupted and he gave us a nice 20 minute waste of time waste of air basically this guy right so you know to save himself he made another video I think he uploaded that video yesterday or the day before. He made, a, he made another video, a seven minute long video. And uh, I watched it. I watched a couple of things of it. And we're going to play that video and we will continue part two of this series. This series of exposing Adnan Rashid. And, you know, this is one, th this guy, you know, he goes on Speaker's Corner and he has debated many people before, right? He's, he's supposedly one of the best Muslim apologists today. 
This guy is a Pakistani, right? He's a wannabe Arab, right? According to the Quran, according to the Quran, Allah sent to every nation a prophet. What is your prophet, Mr. Pakistani? I mean, you're not an Arab, you're a Pakistani. Can you tell us what's the name of your prophet, Mr. Adnan Rashid? Since Allah claimed that he sent to all the nations, he sent prophets. Can you give us the name of that prophet? Because according to Islam, Allah sent 124,000 prophets. Can you give us the name of your prophet? Because clearly Muhammad was the prophet for the Arabs. Not for you. You're not an Arab, Mr. Adnan Rashid. Anyway. Anyway. We're going to expose this guy in part two of today, in this series. Part two. <clears throat> so, I will not take calls during the spanking, to, during the refutation. We will allow people to call us when we are done. And we'll take it from there. Okay, so guys, if you want to call us, you have to hold your horses for now. We will accept calls when we are done spanking this liar that you see here in front of you. All right, guys? All right. Before we start, I want to ask you to pray with me in the name of our Lord and Savior. I think this has become a good habit, you know, to actually pray before we start our live show. So pray with me in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Dear Lord, bless our beloved audience and subscribers. Lord, thank you for your grace. And we Christians truly believe that your son, Jesus Christ, is risen. And indeed, Jesus is risen. Al-Masih qam, haqqan qam. That's what we Arabic-speaking Christians say. The Messiah is risen. Indeed, he's risen. Thank you for the ultimate gift, Lord. Thank you for your grace that saved us from death. And thank you for this lovely audience and subscribers who kept supporting us day in, day out for the last year. Please bless them and their families, Lord. And keep all of us healthy and safe, especially from the spread of this Coronavirus. I mean the coronavirus. Father, enfold us in your arms. Help us not to lean on our own understanding, but in everything acknowledge you, Lord, so that you can direct our words, thoughts, and actions. Give us a measure of your strength so that we might not give in to discouragement, any taqiyya, any lies, or any doubt, or mecca, the mecca of Islam, Lord. Please, Lord, help us on you in all our ways. Lord, I pray to you and ask you to shine your light on all of us, including the sincere Muslims who might be in need and are seeking for the truth. Please, Lord, open their eyes so also they can be saved. Lord, fill me with your Holy Spirit and loosen my tongue today on this very live stream so I can speak the truth without any error or any shame, Lord, because we should not be ashamed about the truth, Lord. Lord, give me wisdom and courage to do whatever needs to be done. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Welcome, everybody. Thank you for joining in. Thank you for your support. On this live show, we will have the opportunity today to show you how Muslim apologists like Adnan Rashid lie and deceive their audience. On top of that, anything Muhammad said in his yellow pages, i.e. the Quran or the Hadith, will be used against him in the court of law. So I hope that Allah is there. I hope Allah is not asleep and will be his personal lifeguard, his personal attorney, and he's going to be present during today's hearing for Muhammad to defend him in the court of law. And as we said, we will open Skype when we are done exposing this guy in part two. Okay, guys? So you have to wait if you want to call me. Yeah, and his defense attorney, exactly, A.V. Rimeth. I hope Allah will be there to help the Muslim apologist and his prophet in the court of law. Now, let us start. 
I hope everybody is doing okay. I hope you're all whole and healthy. Make sure to follow the rules till we can conquer from this coronavirus. I mean the coronavirus. If we go to the Quran, guys, as a small introduction, if we go to the Quran in chapter 5, ayah 47, we can read the following. And let the people of the gospel judge by what Allah has revealed therein. Question for our audience who are watching. Who are the people of the gospel anyone in the live chat who can tell me who the people of the gospel are according to the ayah who is i who is allah we know it's muhammad in his yellow pages called the quran but who is allah addressing here who are the people of the gospel anyone we have my black dog bites and we have the goat ate the quran i like your name go there Goat ate the Quran says the Christians. African Christian says the Christians. Lolomini says the Christians. Peter the Wall says the Christians. We Christians says Phoebe. Alright, so all of you agree that it's the Christians, right? Who are the people of the book. So wait, Muslims. According to your Allah, we Christians, people of the gospel, we have to, we are commanded according to the Quran, we are commanded to judge by what Allah has revealed inside the gospel so if we open the gospel today guys we open the new testament and we read we see that jesus is the son of god right jesus calls himself the son of god jesus says that he will die right and he will be raised on he will raise himself on the third day jesus said destroy this temple and i will raise it in three days that's what jesus said right but according to the muslims especially the scholars of Islam, you know, those and those Muslim apologists, they reject the death and resurrection of Jesus, right? So when we, let us go back to the ayah, when we Christians, we open our gospel, we have to reject Islam, because Islam and the Quran contradict what the gospel say. We have to reject Muhammad, because he contradicts the teaching of the gospel, and what is inside the gospel, what is there in the gospel. We, we have to reject Allah because Allah is not our God, according to the gospel. But if we continue reading, it says, And whoever does not judge by what Allah has revealed inside the gospel, then it is those who are the deviantly disobedient. So again, in a nutshell, this ayah is saying that the Christians must judge by the gospel. But Muslims, you have a dilemma, you have a disaster here that Muhammad created in his yellow pages called the Quran. Because if we Christians must judge by the gospel, we have to reject Muhammad, we have to reject Islam, and we have to reject Allah and the Quran because it contradicts our gospel. Right? So this ayah that Muhammad created in his Quran actually destroys Islam. According to this ayah, no Christian should actually accept Islam, right? This ayah is a huge disaster. I hope Muslims are taking notes. Hussein Zamani, Hussein Zamani says, You rob, you are so dumb rob, there is no way why that someone is son of God and son of man at the same flipping time. Abdul, Hussein Zamani, Abdul, Abdul. We are all a son of God, but your Quran, your Quran says that that's not true. Allah has no sons, right? Do you actually call the Quran a book of lies? And the son of man, whenever you see Jesus calling himself the son of man, that's a divine claim. Jesus is claiming the deity. He claims to be God when he says he's the son of man. Why? Because... When Jesus is in front of the Pharisees, he says, you'll see the Son of Man on the clouds, coming on the clouds of heaven. That Jesus is there actually quoting the Old Testament scripture. He is fulfilling the Old Testament scripture. And he says, this is about me. What does the high priest do? He rips his, he rips his clothing, right? And he says, it's blasphemy. So even the high priest, the Jews, right? 
the high priest and the Pharisees who stood there immediately understood that Jesus is claiming to be God when he says he's the son of man. But you Muslims have no idea what the son of man means. Right? And yes, Imu 17, son of man is the title that is described in the book of Daniel. It's a divinity, a deity claim. So when Jesus says, I am the son of man, I am that son of man. That means Jesus himself is God. But you have never read the Bible to understand what Son of Man is, right? You idiot! You are proving, actually, Mr. Hussein Zamani, you are proving in front of everybody that you are an idiot and you have no idea what the Bible teaches. And why Jesus called himself the, the Son of Man? Go read the Gospel and compare it with the book of Daniel and you will understand. So actually, people are laughing at you. People are laughing at you and your brains right any jew any christian when he reads the old testament and the new testament he will understand that the title son of man is a divine a godly title right you idiot right you're a shia idiot that's what you are and if we go to chapter 3 guys let me go back if we go to chapter 3 ayah 3 from Surat Ali Omran, right? We read the following. He had revealed unto thee the book with truth, confirming that which went before it. And he set down the Torah and the Injil. So Allah claims that he's the one who sent down the Torah and Injil. And it is between Musaddiqan, guys, listen carefully. Musaddiqan confirming Lima Baina, what is between his hands what is between his hands so actually the quran is confirming what is between the hands of muhammad what are what is between the in the hands of muhammad what has already been sent down before the torah and injil muslims clearly muhammad had access to the uncorrupted gospel and torah and the proof is in front of you because it's musaddiqan lima baina yadihi guys i tried to find a a truthful translation that says it's confirming between his hands, be between the hands of Muhammad, right? In the time of Muhammad. No translation actually says, do you see it? No translation actually says that these couple of words, one, two, three, four words, do you see it? Those highlighted words are saying, confirming what is between his hands. Why you Muslims, when you translate, any translation, look it up. Any translation does not say that which is between his hands. Because you Muslims, when you're going to actually directly, literally translate that, that means you're going to show everybody that the Gospel and the Torah were in the hands of Muhammad. Right? Muhammad could read them, write them, right? Read them, both the Torah and the Gospel. He had access to them because they were in, the, in his hands. But Muslims have to do all kind of taqiyya and mental gymnastics. Any, guys, any translation, look. Any translation does not say between his hands. Why? Clearly there's nothing fishy going on, right, guys? I'm an Arab. Listen, guys, I'm, I am an Arab. It says, مُصَدِّقًا لِمَا بَيْنَ يَدَيْهِ Why are you Muslims liars when you translate the Quran? Under Kingman, well, yes, but there are many, many other reasons why. Because if you go to chapter 7, ayah 157, <laughs> there the ayah is saying that you can find Muhammad in the gospel and the Torah. The name of Muhammad, right? Ahmed in the Torah and the Injil. But we cannot find that name. So Allah again lying in chapter 7, ayah 157. What else is new? Allah lying from the back of his teeth. I know, I mean, it's Muhammad. Always it's Muhammad, guys, in the Quran. There is nothing called Allah, guys. Actually, Muhammad is Allah. Like Clark Kent is Superman, right? He's, you know, his other half. <laughs> right? Yes, yeah, it's, oh, it's always Muhammad because you cannot tell me this is God speaking and God making such mistakes, right? 
Momo is Allah in the Quran, yes. But we always say Allah to go with the Muslims, right? Hussein Zamani, ya idiot, you idiot donkey, listen. Look what this Hussein Zamani, the Shia boy that, you know, believes that if you don't wear yellow shoes, your, your penis will not become hard. Hussein Zamani, you said, idiot, that verse is saying God sent non-corrupted Torah and Injil and Quran. Yes, between the hands of Muhammad. <laughs> so why do you Muslims claim that the Torah and Injil are corrupted? Clearly, in the time of Muhammad, the Injil and the Torah were not corrupted. Are you telling me after the death of Muhammad? Guys, pay attention. According to Hussein Zamani and his Imams, we can actually say that immediately after the death of Muhammad, Jews and Christians created a time travel machine. Beat me up, Scotty. <laughs> they went through all the countries on the world and they started to corrupt all the Torahs and the Jews in book form. Right? He just confirmed, guys, he just confirmed that the Injil and the Torah were uncorrupted, right? Look, let me post what he said again. Look, non-corrupted, exactly. So why do you Muslims claim that the Bible is corrupted, the Injil and the Torah are corrupted? You see how you are spanking yourself? Well done, well done, Hussein Zamani, you are the smartest Shia who always come back to get spanked. Last time we spanked you about the yellow shoes. Right, because you Shia are even more funny than the Sunni. According to Shia hadith, right, that we showed in one of our latest live shows, if you don't wear, wear yellow shoes, if you don't wear yellow shoes, you will have a limp penis. You cannot <clears throat> your wife, right? You will have a limp penis. So make sure, if you are a Shia, make sure to always wear yellow shoes, brother. Right? Shia, Shia Muslims, right? R right? Shia, Shia Muslims have to believe that you have to wear yellow shoes. Interesting. So here again, guys, Muhammad actually did not believe that the Injil and Torah were corrupted because Allah is clearly saying between your hands, Musaddiqan confirming what is between your hands. And we showed you that no translation will be honest. They all do taqiyya, all of them, any, any translation. Open it, you will see it will not say what is between his hands. Here, verifying, do you see it? Where is the words, the, the exact words, Musaddiqan confirming what is between his hands? Yadehi means hand. Yadi, right? My hand. Yadehi, his hands. His hands. The hands of who? Of Muhammad. His hands. Where is the word his hands here? You don't see it. Alright. So when Muhammad has access to the uncorrupted Torah and Injil, that means you Muslims have lie to yourselves because your prophet actually swore on the Torah in the hadith he said I believe in thee when he was given the Torah he said I believe in thee and the one who sent thee so your prophet believed in the gospel and the Torah so when did the Torah and the gospel got corrupted when and where when and where I challenge any Muslim to tell me when did the Torah and the gospel got corrupted clearly not before the death of your prophet. Right, Muslims? When and where got the Torah and the gospel corrupted? So guys, hillside, yes, when? So people who are watching, people who are listening, when you, whenever you debate a Muslim, learn from this, take notes. When a Muslim says the Bible is corrupted, the Torah and the Injil are corrupted, tell them when and where. Because clearly, according to chapter 3, ayah, chapter 3, ayah 3, Muhammad had access to the Torah and the Injil that were between his hands. Right? Right? You see it?
You idiot. You see, this guy is always, guys, this donkey, <clears throat> this Hussein Zamani, is always repeating the same nonsense about the Gospel of Barnabas. You idiot. The Gospel of Barnabas was written couple centuries ago, I think if I'm not mistaken, in the 14th century, the Gospel of Barnabas actually destroys Muhammad. It's good that Muslims are making our job much easier in exposing Islam and Muhammad, because if you open up the Gospel of Barnabas, it says that Muhammad is the Messiah. It refutes the Quran, it refutes Muhammad because Muhammad and the Quran say that the Messiah is no one else than Jesus himself, Isa, right? So the Gospel of Barnabas, actually if you believe in the Gospel of Barnabas as a Muslim, you have to reject Muhammad, right? As a prophet, you have to accept him that he is the Messiah. You have read it completely and you did not find that Muhammad, according to the Gospel of Barnabas, is the Messiah? It doesn't say that, RC. <laughs> You're, you have been becoming a joke, Hussein Zamani. You became the joke of the live chat. People are laughing at you, man. Hussein Zamani, no, you are the liar, according to the Gospel of Barnabas. Muhammad is the Messiah, not Isa. Do you accept that as a Muslim? Clearly not. So don't ever dare to mention the Gospel of Barnabas on your lips because it destroys your Prophet and Islam on the same time. Right? So let us guys forget about this idiot, this Shia boy who believes that the yellow shoes right, will give you a heart penis. Forget about him. Let us actually Play the video of Mr. Adnan Rashid, the Muslim Sunni apologist, the Salafi Sunni apologist, and we will start the spanking from there. So put on your headsets, guys. I hope you're still with me. Give me one if you're with me, and let us start the spanking of Adnan Rashid in this part two of the series. Let me start from the beginning, okay? His so video David would ask this. Wait, his video starts with is the gospel corrupted? Okay. So he's going to address David Wood. David Wood and Sam Sean actually did a, an amazing job. They spanked him in part one of his video, that video that he uploaded for 20 minutes. And he then to save his behind, he made immediately this video that is 7 minutes and 20, 20, 22 seconds. Let me start the video and let us spank him. Make sure, guys, to put on your headsets to hear what he's saying. You always make make sure to listen carefully what Muslims have to say so you can spank them. Use anything they say against them and their fake prophet in the court of law, right? Learn from these guys. Take notes. Please take out your pens and papers and start taking notes. Learn how to expose these deceivers, these lies that they call themselves Muslim apologists. Let us start. So David would ask this question, give me one unequivocal statement that states that the gospel, mark the words, the gospel is corrupt. I repeat his question, give me one unequivocal yes, that's statement the challenge. in the Quran that states that the gospel is corrupt. Yes, David would say it, guys, as you know, David should David Wood said, give me one ayah from the Quran that says that the gospel is corrupted. If you can show me that ayah in the Quran, I will bow down and take my shahada. I also made that challenge to, the, to all the Muslims, right? So David Wood and Rob Christian will take the shahada if you can show us one ayah in the Quran that says that the gospel of corru is corrupted, that agrees with your claims for the last 1400 years, right Muslims? So let's see what this idiot has to say. Let me give you the shock. The shock. The Quran does not state that the gospel is corrupt. What? The, what? The Quran what? Come again? The Quran does not say that the gospel is corrupted or... Guys, then why are you making two videos to try to refute David Wood? Guys, did you hear what he said? <laughs> Guys, did you hear what he said? 
<laughs> let me go back, let me go back. So why are you making videos? And I dressing David Wood. Oh, is corrupted or changed or altered. The Quran states that the New Testament, that the gospel is corrupted or changed or altered. What? Let me give you the shock. Let me give you the, the shock. The Quran does not state that the gospel is corrupt. The well, uh, my friend, my friend. Thank you, right? Thank you very much. <laughs> finally, guys, he admits. Finally, Adnan Rashid admits that the gospel is not corrupt. Did you hear it? Alhamdulillah. So guys, it seems that David Wood and Rob Christian will not bow down and take their shahada. So why are you making videos? <laughs> Lord, have Lord have mercy. So guys, there's no need. <laughs> Basically, in a nutshell, there is no need to continue because clearly this guy just admitted that the gospel is not corrupted. Did you hear it? So there is no ayah in the Quran that agrees with you Muslims that says that the gospel is corrupted. So actually our challenge stands strong till today. Our challenge, the Christian challenge stands strong. Show us one ayah that says that the gospel is corrupted inside the Quran. This guy just said it, right? You heard him, right? You heard him. So why are you making videos to address David Wood? Hmm. Ah! You are trying, you are trying, right? By doing all kind of mental gymnastics, going through other ayahs and whatnot to prove your point. So you cannot show us one ayah that says that the gospel is corrupted, right? I'm not a sheep. Thank you. <laughs> Guys, give him another applause. Come on, I mean, this guy deserved it. At least he's honest here for a small second. At least, yeah, self goal. <laughs> he just made a solid goal, right? Zero one for Adnan Rashid. Not one zero, but zero one for Adnan Rashid. Zero for Adnan Rashid and one for David Wood and Rob Christian. Congratulations, guys. This is the best, guys, this is the best Muslim apologies that Muslims have on Speaker's Corner. Uh, Sean, my friend, Sean Guy, thank you for your donation. Thank you so much for the super chat. God bless you. God bless your families. Thank you for your support, guys. We appreciate it. Well, I think uh, we're done, guys. <laughs> we're done. We can uh, we can wrap this up, guys. <laughs> uh, he said it, right, guys? He said it. If you cannot show us in the Quran that the gospel is corrupted, that means the gospel is uncorrupted. It destroys Islam because if we read the gospel, it contradicts Muhammad. Right? It contradicts Islam. It contradicts the Quran. If, the, if you cannot show us an ayah in the Quran that says that the gospel is corrupted. So why are you attacking Christianity if you cannot show us one ayah from the Quran that agrees with your claims? You Muslims always say the Bible is corrupted, the Injil is corrupted, the Torah is corrupted. You just said it. There is no ayah. <laughs> so fast. Now, guys, let me, you know, to be fair, let me, just to be fair, let me go back and play the video more. And we will go continue from that and we'll continue keep spanking him, right? Let me go back and play the video more, right? At least try to be fair. At least you heard the guy, there's no I, all right? But let us play the video and, and see what this guy has to say more. And we will spank him and his prophet. Anything that he will say from now on will be used against him in the court of law. Let us continue. Guys, do you like my, uh, my new style, guys? I'm using, uh, I've, I've been playing with, uh, with some, uh, you know, design programs and I made a couple of uh, stingers. You call these things, right? You call them stingers that you see here that, you know, I hope you like them, you know, just to go with the modern era of the internet. All right. <clears throat> so let me continue. Let me put on my headset. 
the Quran does not say that the gospel thank you. is thank you. corrupted or changed thank or you. altered. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The Quran states that the New Testament is corrupt. Okay, show me the ayah. <laughs> show me the ayah. <laughs> Guys, you heard him. He said the Quran does not state that the Injil, right, the gospel is corrupted. Okay, thank you. But you said, let me go back. Give me the ayah. That the New Testament is corrupt. Give me the ayah that says that the New Testament is corrupted. I'll give you a thousand dollars. Listen carefully. Adnan Rashid, I know that my video will reach you. I know, I know, I know. Right? My, vid my video will reach you. I'll give you a thousand dollars, Mr. Adnan Rashid, if you can show me an ayah that says that the New Testament is corrupted. Is that fair, guys? I'll give you a thousand dollar, Mr. Adnan Rashid, if you can show me one ayah that says that the New Testament is corrupted. Guys, is this fair? For the people who are watching, is this a fair challenge from me? I will give you a thousand dollar, Mr. Adnan Rashid, if you didn't hear me correctly. I'll give you a thousand dollar if you can defend your claim that the New Testament is corrupted from the Quran. Because you just said it. Guys, look what he says. Let me go back a little bit. That the New Testament is corrupt. And what does the Quran say? The Quran states that the New Testament is corrupt. Okay. Guys, I want Adnan Rashid to make another video and show me the ayah from the Quran because he says that the Quran says it, right? Show me the ayah from the Quran that says that the New Testament is corrupted. Uh, Natalie Blas says, I will add a thousand euros on top of your thousand euros. Bruno says, 10,000. I mean, Adnan Rashid, you're going to be a rich man. Adnan Rashid, you're going to become a rich man. Look at the money of the Christians. Uh, I'm the righteousness of God. Uh, he added 2,000 pounds. You see, guys, what kind of liars these people are. KP adds another 2,000 pounds sterling, right? That's what you, what you call it in, uh, in England, right? 2,000 2, pounds sterling, right? Mr. Omar Hawari, he will add to, to 25,000. Mr. Abdul Halik will add 15,000 plus 72 goats, especially for Adnan Rashid. Look at the money, guys, that is coming in. <laughs> That's... I mean, Adnan Rashid, you're going to become a rich man. If you can show us an ayah, here comes my second challenge. Since you failed to show us an ayah from the Quran that says that the gospel is corrupted, here comes the second and newest challenge. If you can show us one ayah from the Quran, not ten, one, one, we are asking for one, that says in crystal clear words, the New Testament is corrupted. Mark my words. The Quran must give us an ayah. You have to look up the ayah which says in the Quran, the New Testament is corrupted. By those specific words, because you just made that claim that the Quran says it. And we will give you a lot of money, my, my friend. You'll become a rich Abdul today. Uh, Peter the Wall will give, give his authentic flying carpet of Sulaiman. I mean, this guy is going to become like Suleiman, man. He will have a lot of money. Maybe you can get your own army like Muhammad and go attack the Jews and the Christians. Look, Abdullah and Napo will give $5,000. A hundred million rupees. Wow. I don't know how many dollars that is when you change it into dollars. But man will provide hundred million rupees. <laughs> that sounds a lot, man. I'm not sure about the inflation uh, for the rupees in your country, my friend. But, uh, before Abraham, I am, says 5,000 Swiss francs. <laughs> Guys, you, you, you are making it. You know, you, you are making this guy uh, the, the richest Muslim on earth, man. He, he's going to become more rich than Zekir Naik. Zekir Naik has 15 millions on his bank account. And he's running, right? He's running. He's running. He's a millionaire and he's running. He's now hiding somewhere in Malaysia, I think. Adnan Rashid will become an instant millionaire, bro. Right? Uh, Hira Rodriguez says, Muslims and Christians need to get along 
and just let each other believe what they want. Hira, Hira, listen, Hira Rodriguez, listen carefully, sister. I think it's a sister, right? Hira, if Islam would have done that to us for the last 1400 years, we would have no problem with Islam. But since Islam says to attack the whole world, conquer the whole world, and everyone who does not accept Allah and his prophet have to die, and Muhammad in many authentic hadith says, I am commanded to fight everyone who does not accept Allah, Islam. If you become a Muslim, you are going to be saved from me. Your blood, your wealth, your women, your children will be saved from me. So, uh, Hira, Rodriguez, if Muhammad and Islam would have not wanted to kill all the Jews, attack all the Christians and all the countries and conquer them, we would have not done what we are doing. So make sure to learn about Islam, right? Learn about Islam because Islam is actually, well, if you're a Christian and you're living in a Christian country, Islam and the prophet of Islam commands every Muslim to attack and conquer all the countries in the world, right? So you understand now why we are doing this, why we are exposing Muhammad and Islam? You, you have no idea what you're talking about. If Islam truly respected any religion, then we would have not done what we do. Muhammad said, guys, you have seen my intro video. Muhammad said, the last hour, judgment day will not be established if not all the Jews get killed. Even the stones will speak and say, there's a Jew behind me hiding, come and kill him. You have no idea what you're talking about, Sister Hira Rodriguez. So Islam is a danger for whole mankind, if you're not a Muslim. They will take your women. They, they will kill your men. They will take the women, the daughters. They will take them and you're going to become a sex slave for the Muslims. Right? You're going to become a sex slave if your men, your husbands won't accept Muhammad accept Islam, convert to Islam, and if you're a Jew or a Christian, you have to f pay the jizya. If you don't want to pay jizya, right, the punishment, mafia money, you will get killed. Right? They will kill you and they will take your women as sex slaves. All right? So now you understand, guys, why we have to expose Muhammad and Islam, because it's a danger. It's a danger, right? For the whole world. Let me continue the video, guys. Let me continue the video. And the gospel is not the New Testament. The gospel of Jesus Christ is not the New Testament. You liar. You have no, truly no shame. You truly have no dignity, you idiot. We already thanked him, guys, that he clearly said that the gospel is not corrupted. The New Testament is called. Abdul, there is no difference between the New Testament and the Gospel. The Gospel is the New Testament, you idiot. Right? Guys, even the word Injil that Muhammad and Muslims love to talk about, right? Muhammad in the Quran is talking about the Injil, right? Isn't a Greek word. What is a Greek word doing in the Quran of Allah? The so-called perfect Arabic book of Allah. What is a Greek word? The Eongelion. Right? Evangelion, the gospel, the Injil, it's a Greek word. Do you hear it? Evangelion. Sorry guys if I'm butchering the Greek, okay? Evangelion, the gospel, the Injil is a Greek word. Right? It's, it is the New Testament, right? It's the message of the good news. Who is the good news? It's Jesus. It's described as a theology in many of the New Testament letters. So the good news is the New Testament. You idiot! You idiot! Mr. Adnan Rashid. It relates to the saving acts of God, to the work of Jesus on the cross, and Jesus' resurrection from the dead, which bring reconciliation, the atonement between people and God. So guys, basically in a nutshell, if we start reading from the Old Testament, and continue reading all the way to the book of Revelation. It's one complete story. Guys, are you still with me?
So the whole Bible is nothing but one complete story. It's one complete story. In the book of Genesis, we can see and read that mankind sinned against God, right? Mankind went against God. We sinned, right? Sin entered the world. Sin entered the flesh. And we were separated from God. We were disconnected from God. To fix, right? To fix that connection, to, re to be reunited with God again, we needed sinless blood. And who is sinless but God? No one else, right? All of you are sinners. Muhammad was a sinner. Moses was a sinner. King David was a sinner. King Solomon was a sinner. Rob Christian is a sinner. All of you. Any one of you who say, who dares to say, I'm not a sinner, you're a liar. So who only but God, God in the flesh, i.e. Jesus Christ, glory to his name. The name above all names, glory to, to Jesus Christ. Who else but Jesus, the sinless blood of Jesus on the cross could reunite us with God. Since, since we chose to go against God, to be reunited with God again. Us sinners cannot save ourselves. We need God himself to fix this mistake that we made. We made that mistake. We chose by our free will to go against God. All right? Imagine, guys. And you see this Adnan Rashid, this liar, this idiot. What an idiot, man. The New Testament is not the gospel. You liar. The gospel is the New Testament. Christians, Christians, whenever you, you hear the word New Testament, it is the Injil. It is the gospel. It is Jesus himself. The good news, right? The meaning of New Testament, the meaning of gospel is good news. Who is the good news? Is Jesus Christ himself, right? He himself is the good news. I dare... I challenge Adnan Rashid or any Muslim to show me the meaning of Injil, which is used in the Quran, a Greek word in the perfect Arabic, <laughs> in the perfect Arabic Quran of Allah. Can you show me the meaning of Injil? No, you cannot. You have to go to our holy books, our holy scripture to understand that it means the good news. You see how Muhammad was copying, plagiarizing from the gospel. In the Quran, choosing Greek words, put it in the Quran and call it perfect Arabic. <laughs> the jokes are on you, Mr. Adnan Rashid, and on your fake prophet. Guys, are you benefiting from, from this, guys? Are you enjoying this spanking? Uh, Hira Rodriguez, sure, I will have a conversation with any Muslim, any Muslim who dares to challenge me for a debate, we are live almost every week. Actually, every week. We are here, we will debate any Muslim who thinks he has the knowledge and the courage to debate us. We are not hiding, we are not running, we are here. Alright? Anyone, I don't care, any Muslim, bring me. Bring me any Muslim and see what will happen to him. Alright? Let us continue the video and the spanking, guys. Let us continue refuting the lies of this idiot, Mr. Adnan Rashid. Let me put on my headset again. What gospel is the Quran talking about is the question. Yeah, tell what me. What is the Quran talking about? You tell about? me. What is the Injil? The Quran is talking about the gospel of Jesus Christ. The actual text which was revealed upon Jesus Christ. Where is it? Yeah, you tell me, where is it? Where is that? Mr. Abdul, where is it? Is the question. Is the Quran talking about ah, that's the, the writings question. of Paul? Is the Quran talking about the writings of Jude? Well, your idiot prophet, your wannabe prophet, 1400 years ago, he stole the word Injil, he put it in the Quran, and he had no idea what the Injil means. Is that what you're trying to say? Where did he get the word from? From us, you idiot. James or the book of Acts, for example. The whole New the Testament is the gospel, you idiot. The Quran uses the word gospel? Of <laughs> course not. 
The Quran <laughs> doesn't even address these writings. So these writings, even the Christians believe, are not from Jesus Christ, let alone from blah blah God blah blah. So blah blah blah. Very very clear that yeah. our interlocutors, in yeah, this yeah. case David Wood and Co, are being very very disingenuous to the Christian community. They are not honest with you. They were, they're not telling you the truth uh, about the fact of the matter. Really? Let us see who is liar. Let us see who is a liar and who is a deceiver, Mr. Adnan Rashid. All right? Let us show you guys who is the liar and deceiver. Is it you or is it Mr. David Wood? Or any Christian apologist? Let us see who is the liar and who is the idiot. All right? Guys, Muslims claim... Right? Muslims have always claimed that Allah of the Quran, Allah of Islam is the same God of the Torah and the Injil, right? Guys, are you still with me? How many times have you heard from Muslims that Allah of Islam, Allah of the Quran is the same God of the Injil and the Torah? How many times? Many times, right? The people are giving you one, that means you have heard it many times. They are trying to force Allah inside our holy scripture, right? If we go to the Quran, chapter 5, ayah 18, read with me carefully guys. Take notes or take a screenshot. Use this against any Muslim and the fake prophet of Islam in the court of law when you debate them. Chapter 5 of the Quran, ayah 18, it says, And both the Jews and the Christians say, guys, this is addressing the Jews and the Christians, including you Christians, right? And the Jews and the Christians say, we are the children of Allah. So the Jews and the Christians are claiming that they are the children of Allah. That's a lie. Jews and Christians don't claim that they are children of Allah. That's lie number one. So who is, who is lying, Mr. Adan Ashid? Your prophet is a liar. Your Allah is a liar. And you are a liar. So here comes lie number one. Jews and Christians never said that they are children of Allah. Moses didn't say that. Abraham didn't say that. Jesus did not say that. No follower of Christ in the time of Christ knew about who Allah is. We call our God Jehovah. Exodus 3.15 When Moses asked who is sending him, who? what's the name of God? It's Yahweh, right? That's my name. Go tell them that I am send you. That I am Jehovah, Yahweh. That's his name. Not Allah. We don't know who Allah is. So who is lying? Your prophet is lying. Your Allah is lying about the Jews and the Christians. And if we continue, it says, and his loved ones. So the Jews and the Christians saying, we are the children of Allah and his loved ones. Say, Right? Qul, say, Qul, in Arabic, Qul, say, say to them, why then does he, Allah, why does Allah punish you for your sins if you are his children? No, you are but human beings. So here, guys, here, pay attention, Allah denies being father of the Jews and the Christians. Right? We can make that conclusion. Allah denies, Allah refused the Jews and the Christians. He is not father, else why is he punishing you? If he, if Allah is, was father to the Jews and the Christians, he would have not punished you. So no, you are nothing but human beings. So here, we just showed you that Allah of the Quran, Allah of the Islam, is certainly not the same Jehovah, the God of the Jews and the Christians, who said, I am your father. So here we have a different God. Who is lying? Your Allah, your prophet is lying. Because Moses called himself the child of God, a child of God. Abraham called himself a child of God. But Allah, in chapter 5, ayah 18, clearly says, I am not your father. So who is a liar and deceiver? Your prophet and your Allah. Thank you very much, Mr. Adnan. Thank you for proving to us that whenever you talk about 
someone who is a deceiver or liar, it goes back to your Prophet and your Allah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So who is the deceiver, guys? Who is the deceiver? His Prophet and his Allah. Sarah is saying, this is great, Robert. Well, I appreciate it. Thank you, Sister Sarah. I hope you are benefiting from this, guys. I hope you are taking notes. Take notes. Use this, guys. Use this ayah against Muhammad, against Allah, when Muslims dare to claim that Allah is the same God of the God that is mentioned in, in the book of Exodus, right? For example, chapter 3, verse 15, right? Where God is calling himself Jehovah. That's my name. I am the one who sent you. The I am. And that's my name forever. So are you telling me this God of Islam used to call himself Jehovah? Suddenly he changes his mind, changes his name and becomes Allah? <laughs> is that what you're trying to say Muslims? When you dare to claim that Allah is the same God of the Holy Bible? Are you saying that Allah is like a kid in a candy store? Changing his mind, changing his name suddenly. First in Exodus he says, my name is Jehovah and that's my name forever. Then suddenly, in the time of Muhammad, Allah decides to change his name into Allah. What a disaster. What a disaster, Muslims. What a disaster. If we go to the Holy Bible, and we go to 1 John chapter 2, Verse 22, it says, and we will see who is the real liar, guys. Watch, take notes. Let's see who the real liar is, Mr. Adnan Rashid, according to our Holy Bible. Who is the real liar? Let's see. Verse 22, do you see it? Take notes. Who is a liar but he who denies that Jesus is the Christ? He is an antichrist. He is the antichrist, a antichrist who denies the Father, uh oh, so Allah and His Prophet are the Antichrist for deny, denying that God is the Father and Jesus is the Son. Did you see it? So guys, we can conclude Allah is nobody else than Satan, the Antichrist, and Muhammad is the agent of Satan, A. Antichrist, an Antichrist, sorry, an Antichrist, sorry, sometimes my English, you know guys, English is not my mother tongue. So Muhammad is the agent of Satan and Allah is nobody else than Satan in disguise. Because you, your prophet Muslims, denies that God is father of mankind and he denies that Jesus is the son of God, right? So according to our Holy Bible, anyone who is trying to refute that Jesus is the Son of God and God is our Father, that means you are nothing but an Antichrist. Bam! So who is the deceiver? Who is the liar? Who is the father of all lies? Allah. Who is the agent of Satan? Muhammad. Thank you, Mr. Adnan Rashid, for this very spanking. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <sighs> who is, who can we prove from the Quran that Muhammad is a liar? Yes, we can. Guys, if we go to chapter 22, Surah Al-Hajj, Ayah 52. Just a second, guys. According to chapter 22, Ayah 52, Muhammad again is lying about all the prophets. Watch. According to chapter 22, ayah 52, since we know that Muhammad is the one who wrote the Quran, which we can make that conclusion, you know, to save his behind, to address the satanic versus incident in his life, what did Muhammad say about all the prophets and messengers? Watch. And all the noble messengers, guys take notes, chapter 22, ayah 52, and all the noble messengers or prophets whom we sent before you, it occurred with all of them. So every prophet, every messenger, Moses, Abraham, Jacob, all of them, all of them, that whenever they recited the message of Allah, 
Satan included a bit from his own speech in their recitation to the people. Guys, have you any idea what Muhammad is saying in his yellow pages called the Quran? Have you any idea what Muhammad is saying here? Muhammad is actually, because he delivered the satanic verses, he delivered the satanic verses to the Quraysh of Mecca, his own tribe, to save his behind, he is lying about all the prophets, saying that every prophet became for a certain time and period an agent of Satan, a messenger and a prophet of Satan. Do you see it? Satan controlled all the prophets for a certain time in their recitation to the people. Do you see it? So Muhammad is lying about all the prophets. Do you see who is the liar and deceiver? Mr. Adnan Rashid? Mr. Mr. Adnan Rashid, Mayday, Mayday, speaking from cave, Hira, Hira, Adnan Rashid, Rashid, Rashid. We just exposed your prophet and showed you and proved to you who the real liar is. Your prophet is the real liar and deceiver. And because you're a follower of Muhammad, you're automatically a liar and deceiver like him. Right? Yeah, and all the 124,000 prophets were controlled by Satan according to Muhammad. Do you see it? What a liar, what a deceiver. You are insulting prophets like Abraham, Muhammad. You are insulting prophets like Moses, Muhammad. You are insulting prophets like jo Jacob, Muhammad. Yes, wow, Sarah is saying, Sarah, yes. Wow, Muhammad insults all the prophets, the real true prophets before him, because we know he's a fake prophet, right? Wow, do you see it? You're shocked, right guys? Take notes, please. Uh, Hussein Zamani says that verse is the proof of the corruption of the Bible. You idiot! Where is this ayah talking about the Bible? You idiot, you freaking idiot! Oh man, you freaking idiot. Actually, this ayah proves that your prophet is nothing but a liar, lying about all the prophets, saying that Satan did mind control on all the prophets. Yeah, he's, he's, he's triggered. Yeah, he's triggered, right? Right? Uh, make sure to refresh. It's on your side, Vic. I don't have the issue here. You are the only one. You, so, Vic, make sure to refresh. Tell guys, admins, tell the, Vic that he's having issues. It's on his side, not our side. We have 158 people, 158 people watching. It's really a blessing guys. Thank you for your support. I really cannot thank you enough guys, because without you, we cannot do this. Make sure to invite your friends, download our videos. Also make sure to subscribe, smash that like button. Click on the notification bell, guys. I hope you're liking our uh, new layout, new style, guys. Yeah, I was just playing, right? I was playing with uh, a program and created this stuff, you know. I hope it looks good. I hope it looks sexy. <laughs> yeah, just to go with the modern era, yeah? We have to go with it, right? So people don't get bored. Adnan Rashid, you Adnan Rashid, you Adnan Rashid, actually, actually, your prophet in chapter 3, ayah 33, as we mentioned earlier, actually believed that the Torah and the gospel were not corrupted. The New Testament, which is the gospel, we already refuted you, Muhammad had it in his hand, مُصَدِّقًا لِمَا between whose hands? Muhammad's hands. Thank you, uh, Abdullah Inapo. God bless you. I appreciate it. God bless you too, Christian faith. People who just joined, I appreciate you. Thank you for your amazing words, kind words. God bless you and your family, guys. So according to the Quran, chapter 3, ayah 3, Muhammad had access to the books. And those books, right? Those books, are confirmed by the Quran, confirming not the books before it. No, that's not what the Arabic said. You lying 
Muslim translators. You are lying in your translation. And I really tried to find, show me any translation that says Musaddiqan lima bayna yadihi means between his hands. Guys, read with me, right? This is, I think this is a transliteration, yeah. You can read it. Lima musaddiqan. Guys, this is a transliteration. This is how the Arabic basically sound. Musaddiqan lima. Do you see it? Musaddiqan. Confirming lima bayna. What is between lima bayna yadayhi. Do you see it? It literally means confirming what is between his hand, which is the Torah and the gospel. You see it? So why are you Muslims not translating it the correct way? Show me any translation that is translating it correctly. See, another lie. So actually, Mr. Adnan Rashid, you are calling your prophet, you are calling Allah liars and deceivers. Uh, this is QuranWow.com. Let me give you the link, guys. This is Quran.com. This is one of the websites to go to if you want to read the Quran. All right? QuranWow.com. Oh. Guys, are you enjoying the spanking of Adnan Rashid in this part two of the series? Should we continue spanking him or, or is it enough, guys? What do you think? Should we continue dissecting his words and spanking and spanking and continuous you like this spanking guys all right since you are giving me one that means a yes we will continue <laughs> let us go back to the video and continue the spanking of mr adnan rashid i mean look at this cutie pie man look how sad he is looking man he knows people like david wood people like christian prince people like rob christian are going to spank him anyway and spank his prophet in the court of law. This is why he's looking so sad. Let us continue, guys. We do not believe that Moses would command the killing of innocent women and children. We do what, 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 what? What do you not believe? Guys, let me go back. Command the killing of innocent women and children. Moses what? Would command the killing of innocent women and children. What? Would command oral man. We do not believe that Moses would command the killing of innocent women and children. We so guys, he's attacking the, the Old Testament, right? He's attacking Numbers chapter 31, verses 17, 18. He says, we Muslims, you heard him, right? We Muslims don't believe that Moses came, went in to attack the innocent women and children. Abdul, if you actually studied the Old Testament, you will understand that God gave the enemies of the Jews. This is in the time of the Jews, right? This is in the time of the Israelites. They were not innocent, you idiot. God gave the enemies of the Israelites. Guys, take notes, please. God of the Old Testament in the time of the Jews was father of the Israelites, right? He was the heavenly father of the Israelites. Now, guys, guys. Picture this. I hope you're listening carefully and you are taking notes. Whenever a Muslim brings this, these verses, this has nothing to do. This has nothing to do with, if the, with the gospel. This is not the gospel. Anyway, but we, we are not afraid to address this and we're going to spank him and spank his Allah too. Now watch guys. God of the Old Testament gave the enemies of the Jews 400 years. To repent, not one year, not two years, but 400 years to stop attacking his people. Now, if you are a father, let's say you are a father. Do we have any father in the live chat, guys? Do we have one? Hussein Zamani, pay attention, you donkey, pay attention. Pay, pay attention. Do we have any father in the live chat? Give me one if you are a father. Maybe you have children, maybe one child or two children. Bruno is a, is a father. Andy is a father. Okay. We have at least two fathers in our midst. At least two. Allah praise is a father too. Yusuf Messiah is a father too. Russo Ed is a father too. Before Abraham I am is a father too. KP is a father. He has children. Opa has children. Snow Leopard is not, has, does not have children. Okay. Many of you are fathers. Great, great, great. Guys, if you are a father, Someone will come to your house. 
and he wants to kill your children, what are you going to do as a father? If, so, if, if a murderer wants to come to your house in the night and he wants to kill your children, what will you do as a father? Protect my family with my life. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So since God, guys, pay attention, since God of the Old Testament, call him, himself father. He is the father of his children, the Israelites. Are you going to say that God as father will not protect the Israelites? And he gave those enemies 400 years to repent. 400 years. And they did not stop. Even his, the children of these enemies would not stop attacking the Israelites. So then God says enough is enough. right? And he commands the Israelites to go and attack the enemies of the Israelites. Right? Why are you not... Telling the whole story, Mr. Adnan Rashid, you want to deceive the Muslims, right? Guys, since he brought this topic up, let me show you how the same story is in the Quran. What did you say, Rob Christian? The same story in the Quran? Yes. So, to show you that this guy is nothing but a hypocrite and irony is on him and his prophet, he's actually condemning Allah, right? He's condemning Allah, he's condemning Muhammad. He does not know that this same story is inside the Quran. Yes, you heard it correctly. Let us go to the Quran. Guys, I hope you are taking notes. Right? If we go to chapter 5, Surah Al-Ma'idah, chapter 5, Surah Al-Ma'idah, ayahs 20 and 21, take notes. This is talking about the Jews, right? The Israelites. You can go back and you'll see that this is talking about the Israelites. So Allah says, and when Moses said to his people, Oh my people, so this is Moses, right? This is talking about Moses. And when Moses said to his people, Musa, you, they call it Musa. They call it Moses Musa in Arabic, right? In the Quran, Musa. You see it? Musa. And when Musa, Moses said to his people, Oh my people, Remember Allah's favor upon you. Upon who? The Israelites. That he created prophets among you and made you kings and has now given you what he has not given to anyone else in this world. It seems, guys, guys, it seems that Allah is the biggest Zionist between us. Allah himself is the Zionist. How many times you, you heard the Muslims using the word Zionist? You are Zionist you know you are paid Zionist you are you you're supporting the street wait Allah himself is the Zionist uh oh Mr. Hussein Zamani your Allah according to chapter 5 ayah 20 and 21 he is the Zionist watch guys if we continue to ayah 21 right if we continue to ayah 21 it says the following oh my people Allah is saying Allah saying to the Israelites, you see, guys, watch how Allah is the biggest Zionist of them all. All my people enter the Holy Land, the promised land, which is the promised land, Israel, which Allah has decreed for you and do not turn your back for you will turn back as losers. So according to Allah, if you do not go inside the promised land, which is Jerusalem, Israel, right? and you do not stay there, you turn your back and leave, you are becoming, you will be a loser. So who is the biggest Zionist? Who is commanding the Israelites to enter and kill the enemies? To enter the promised land and kill the enemies? Allah. So Mr. Adnan Rashid, you idiot donkey, are you condemning Allah and Muhammad. Are you condemning Allah and Muhammad? Because the same story that you are attacking is in the Quran. Is that what you're trying to say, Mr. Adnan? Right? 
It's not a fact. So are you saying this ayah is corrupted, Mr. Mr. Ad, Mr. Shia boy, Mr. Hussein Zamani? Is this ayah corrupted? Is that what you're trying to say? We have a Shia Muslim in our midst by the name of Hussein Zamani. He's saying that this ayah is not a fact. Well, thank you. We agree. The Quran is not a fact. Congratulations, man. Congratulations. Keep showing us that the Quran of Allah is not a fact. You are doing great, man. I salute you. You're doing you're doing an amazing job, man. <laughs> wow. You truly are the smartest Muslim Abdul that we have seen in our life shit. I truly I, I salute you, man. You are the smartest Abdul, Shia boy, that I have seen on my life chat. <sighs> mm -mm. No way, man. You can't be that dumb. Sorry. I mean, I'm not trying to insult any dumb person, but you're, you're truly, you're truly not the smartest Muslim that I've seen before in my life. Let us continue the spanking, guys. Let me go to Adnan Rashid. In the Gospel of Mark, chapter 12, Gospel verse of Mark. 29 clearly confirms this. So the Quran is simply alluding to the fact that that particular portion in the Gospel of Mark is definitely from the original and in the Gospel so of Mark that guys, that the Quran verse 29 clearly confirms this. So guys, he's attacking the Gospel of Mark. Let me go back a little bit just to make sure. Chapter 12 verse 29 Mark, clearly confirms Chapter 12 this. Verse 29. What does so it confirm? The Quran confirm? is simply alluding to the fact that that particular portion in the Gospel of Mark yes. is definitely from the original Gospel. Oh, so guys, he's cherry picking what he likes. Did you hear it? He's cherry picking, right? Watch. Simply alluding to the fact that that particular portion in the Gospel of Mark is definitely from the original Gospel. What's your proof? Since you claim that the Gospel, the Injil, the New Testament is corrupted, Mr. Adnan Rashid, without any ayah, without any proof. How do you know that this verse that you just put on your screen, how do you know this is not corrupted too? What's your proof? Oh, you cherry pick what you like and say this is definitely, definitely not corrupted. Yeah, guys, um, Victoria, I clearly said in the beginning, I will not take any call till I'm finished spanking this idiot that you see here in front of you. So if you want to call me, you have to wait. Even if you're a Muslim, you have to wait till we're done spanking this idiot here that you see. All right? So if you're a Muslim or you're a Christian, you have to wait till I'm finished. You don't want to wait, just leave. We are spanking this idiot. Your thumb will come. We will spank you too if you're a Muslim. All right? So we are spanking. We will be finished with this guy. We'll continue spanking this guy and we will give you time to get spanked too. Don't worry. Hold your horses. We'll come for you. So guys, as you see, he's cherry picking what he likes and what he does not like. He calls it corrupted. What's your proof from your Muslim point of view that this verse is not corrupted? Give us proof. Let me put on my headset again. Let's see if he's going to provide proof is simply alluding to the fact that that particular portion in the Gospel of Mark is definitely from the original Okay, what's your proof? Gospel of Jesus Christ. Not all of the Gospel of Mark. That particular passage has been What's confirmed. your proof? So the Quran also confirms that Jesus was sent to the Israelites. The Gospels also Only to the Israelites? Right? Because you're quoting You're quoting Mark 12, 19. What does Mark 12, 19 saying? The most important one answered, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one. Confirms this. So the Quran is simply alluding to the fact that that... Okay. Question. When Jesus... Sorry, guys. This is another... Sorry, I had another verse in my mind. This verse is saying, Hear, O Israel, Shema Israel. Right? Shema Israel. Listen, Hear, O Israel. The Lord of God, the Lord is one. Do you believe? Muslim, Adnan Rashid, Adnan Rashid, Mayday, Mayday, Adnan Rashid, I hope you're listening. Do you believe, Adnan Rashid, do you worship Jehovah as your God? We mentioned this before, right guys? 
Exodus 3.15 is saying to Moses, my name, God is saying to Moses, my name is Jehovah. That's my name forever. Do you worship Jehovah, Mr. Adnan Ashid? Because this is talking about Jehovah. Do you worship Jehovah? Do you worship Jehovah or do you worship Allah? You see guys? Here we have a problem. Yes. Echad. Unity, right? Compound unity. Lord, Lord, Lord is Echad, right? So guys, here the Trinity is actually confirmed. Lord, Lord, Lord. Do you hear? Lord, Lord, Lord is Echad. Trinity. I think this is, right? Here Jesus is uh, actually quoting Deuteronomy 6.4, right? Deuteronomy 6.4. Do you believe, do you worship, Mr. Adnan Rashid, do you worship Jehovah as your God? No, you worship Allah. Allah is a different God. As we showed you earlier, Allah is not father to mankind. He actually is refuting in the Quran, right? He is refuting in the Quran. Let me go back to that ayah, guys. He is refuting the Jews and the Christians in chapter 5, as we showed you, ayah 18. The Jews and the Christians say, we are the children of Allah and his loved ones. Say, why then, do, why then does he, Allah, punishes you for your sins, Jews and Christians? No, you are but human beings. So Allah clearly is proving to everybody that he is not father. He is not the father of mankind. So Mr. Adnan Rashid, you are actually worshipping a different God. Because Allah in the Quran clearly says he is not father. Guys, if Hussein Zamani, Hussein Zamani, if you continue spam, my admins will block you. Okay, so behave. Don't be like a kid. Behave. Don't spam. Guys, I'm talking to the admins. If this guy keeps spamming, just send him on his merry way. Okay, send him back to his dead, rotting prophet somewhere in Medina. All right. So you see, guys, Mr. Adnan Rashid, are you a worshiper of Jehovah? Do you believe that the God of the Christians, because the Jews and the Christians claim that they are children of God, do you believe in that same God? No, you don't. So, who are you talking about? Are you talking about Allah or Jehovah? Because those are not the same God. <laughs> you want to have a cake and eat it too, Mr. Adnan Rashid? <sighs> oh, man. This is really, this is really devastating, guys. This is devastating. Let us continue. Let us continue. Confirm that the book of Matthew, chapter 15, verse 24 states that Jesus said, I was not sent to anyone but to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. This is clearly confirmed in the Quran. That was definitely... What, 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 what? What did you say? This is clearly confirmed in the Quran. What is confirmed? To anyone that the book of Matthew, chapter 15, verse 24 states that Jesus said, I was not sent to anyone but to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. This is clearly confirmed in the Quran. That was definitely said by Jesus Christ. We have not. Okay, guys, he's again, as you see, he's again cherry picking what he likes. You see how this guy is cherry picking, guys? Let me prove to him that he's actually against his own Quran. Watch. Let me show you how this guy is actually attacking his own Quran. Watch. So he agrees. Guys, he's agreeing with that verse that says that Jesus is sent only to the lost sheep of Israel. Does that mean? Does that mean that Jesus is not sent to mankind? Is that what you're trying to say, Mr. Adan Rashid? You, that's what you're trying to say, right? No. According our holy scripture god loved the world that he sent his only begotten son to all mankind to be saved right guys our scripture does not contradict itself this is talking about 
the people who are lost. So Jesus did not come to the rich. He came for the people who are, who are in need. Right? The people who are in need of Jesus. The sick who, who want to be healed. The, the people who are seeking for the truth. The ones who are lost. He didn't come to the rich people. The people who are evildoers. To the tax collectors. Right? So guys, let me show you that this guy has no idea what he's talking about. Since you are agreeing, since you are agreeing, and actually in a nutshell saying that Jesus is only sent to the, to, to the Israelites, let me show you that you are condemning Muhammad and you're condemning your Quran. Watch. Chapter 19, guys, take notes. Guys, take notes, please. If you want to help me to help you, take notes and use this whenever Muslims, you know, when they ever quote that verse that is saying that Jesus was sent to the lost sheep of Israel. Chapter 19, Surah Maryam, Quran chapter 19. We're going to turn it back against Muhammad, against Adnan Rashid. Watch. This is talking about Mary, who they call Maryam, right? Maryam says, right, Maryam to Maryam, Allah is saying, he said, I am indeed one sent by your Lord. So here, when we ask Muslims, who is this? They say, this is Jibreel, right? Jibreel is sent by Allah so that my, I may give you a chaste son. That's not the tr actual translation. The word is Zakian. It means holy, right? Holy son, not a chaste son. It's Holy Son. Jesus is called Holy. If we continue reading to verse 20, Ayah 20, now here comes the damaging part. Now we are going to spank Adnan Rashid again. How many times did I spank him today? I lost count, guys. I truly lost count. Read with me. She, Mary, Maryam, Mary, the mother of Jesus says, Isa, how can I bear a son? No man has ever touched me, says Maryam. So she is chaste. No man ever touched her. How can I have a son? You know, I didn't have sexual, basically, I, don't, I didn't have sexual intercourse with any man to have a son. Nor am I of poor conduct. If we continue reading, now here comes the spanking. Verse 21, ayah 21. He said, so it is your Lord, your Allah has said, this is easy for me. And in order that we make him who Jesus, who is him, when you ask Muslims who is him, is Jesus. We are going to make him a sign for mankind and a mercy from us. So here, Mr. Adnan Rashid, this idiot that you see here, Mr. Adnan Rashid, is spanking his Allah, he's calling Allah a liar and a deceiver, he's calling his own prophet a deceiver, right? Who says in his Quran, in the yellow pages of Muhammad, we make Isa a sign for mankind. So a miracle for mankind. So clearly Isa is sent for whole mankind. Are you trying to say that you are out of Islam, Mr. Adnan Rashid? Are you out of Islam? Because you said you believe you are cherry picking a verse from Matthew and you believe that Jesus is only sent to the Israelites. So you are calling Allah and Muhammad liars because Allah in the Quran is saying that Jesus is for all mankind. You have been spanked again and you have been served for everybody to see. Did you catch it guys? Do you see how Adnan Rashid is lying about his Quran. He is calling Allah and Muhammad liars. Did you catch it? I hope you are taking notes, guys. Whenever a Muslim quotes the verse, Jesus is sent only to the lost sheep of Israel, show him this eye and say to you, are you saying that Allah is a liar when he said that Jesus, Isa, that you call Isa, we don't believe Jesus is Isa, but you know, let it go, Christians. Are you saying that Allah is a liar when he said, we will make Isa a sign for mankind? Uh, we have a Abdul Karim Hajj Ismail. 
He's calling me Christian boy. Are you calling me Christian boy because I'm spanking your Muslim hero, Adnan Rashid? Showing everybody that Adnan Rashid is calling his own prophet and Allah liars? Is that why you are so triggered? Is that why you are so angry, Mr. Uh, Abdul Karim? You see, guys, how these Muslim apologists, and they claim he's one of the best, guys. According to the Muslims lately, I've heard that this guy is one of the best. If the, one of the best, this wannabe Arab Pakistani boy, Mr. Adnan Rashid, if he is the best, what's left? If he, if this guy is the best, what's left? He's the best that you have, Muslims. This guy, since he is agreeing with the verse from the gospel, from Matthew that he quoted on his video. If you're agreeing that Jesus is only sent to the Israelites, that means you are calling Allah Muhammad liars because Allah and Muhammad, actually in the yellow pages of Muhammad, the Quran, chapter 19, ayah 21 is saying, we, Allah is saying we, make Isa a sign for all mankind. All mankind. Not only for the lost sheep of Israelite of the Israelites it doesn't say that RC RC it doesn't say that RC you see how easy it is to spank these liars <laughs> thank you mr. Adnan Rashid for calling Allah and Muhammad deceivers and liars. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Guys, give him an applause. Give him an applause. This guy is doing great, man. This is the best of the best of the Sunni Salafi Muslim apologist. I hope our warriors in Christ who are going to Speaker's Corner, I hope they are watching and will use this in their debates with Adnan Rashid. If they see Adnan Rashid, tell, tell him, are you basically saying that Allah is a liar when you said and agreed? He said, I agree, right? He agrees with the verse from the Gospel of Matthew, right? So if you agree with it, that Jesus is only sent to the Israelites, that means Allah is a liar and Muhammad is a deceiver. Well, congratulations, man. Congratulations. I'm so happy with you, man. You are making my job so easy, Mr. Adnan Rashid. Liar! <laughs> RC liar! Is that, is that the only thing you have to say, Mr. Hussein Zamani? Is that it? That's it? Idiot. You are an idiot like your hero, Adnan Rashid. You are triggered. You Muslims are triggered, right? You are, tri you are triggered. Show your face, Rob Christian. These guys always tell us, show your face. I don't have to show my face to spank you. Look how easy it is. Right? Look how easy it is. Right? And when you say, show me your face, are you going to ask Allah to show his face too? Because the Quran says that Allah is wearing hijab. Allah is wearing hijab. Allah himself doesn't wear, show his face. Allah himself is talking from behind a hijab. So go say to Allah first, Allah come from behind that hijab. Then if Allah does it, we will do it too. Right? If Allah does it, we will do it too. Guys, you know, enough is enough. I think we gave this idiot, I think we gave this idiot enough spanking in part one of this series, right? In my er first live show, and now today in part two of this series. I wanted to share a part because I saw another video from another Muslim apologist, right? We are going to spank him too. I was uh, watching... Uh, our dear brother, Christian Prince's live show. And I saw a fragment, a small part of a video that he was playing. And I really wanted to share my point of view with you guys too, right? Let me play that video. Let me put on my headset. It's not going to be very long, guys. I know maybe we have callers. So I will play this small part too, and then we will take some calls. Just a second. Let me play this video. Put on your headsets, guys, and focus with me, please. 
this guy. <laughs> look how cute this guy is, man. Look, look how you are sexy, man. Let me spank this idiot. Look what he's going to say, guys. Watch. This person who calls himself he's a attacking Christian Christian Prince, Prince. He's attacking is Christian Prince. lying big time and he's busted. He's busted. Christian Prince is Why busted? Why am I saying with a smile? When did that happen? Guys, Christian Prince is busted. Okay, okay. So Christian Prince is busted. And that How? he's busted. Okay. You know, I truly feel really sorry for these kind of people. They're so much deceived. And we pray, we should pray for their guidance to Allah subhanahu What, 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 what are you going to do? for these kind of people. You are yeah, sorry? Why am I saying with a smile that he's busted? You know, I truly Guys, feel really what sorry he's saying. for these kind Hear of people. what he's people. saying. They're so much deceived. And we pray, we should pray for their guidance to Allah. You are praying to Allah for the guidance of people like Christian Prince. Guys, you heard it, right? Let me play that part. So you are not going to call us liars, right? They're so much deceived. And we pray, we should pray for their guidance to Allah. We should pray for the guidance to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's what he said. Again, just to make sure that, you know, that we heard it carefully, correctly. And we pray, we should pray for their guidance to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You heard it, right guys? He says we should pray to Allah. That's what this Sabil Ahmed, what is his name? Sabil Ahmed, Dr. Sabil Ahmed. He says we should pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What the Allah, so he can, so they can be guided. People like Christian Prince, Abdul, Abdul, are you calling Allah a liar, Rob Christian? Why? Why is this guy calling Allah a liar and a deceiver? Here is why. Let us go to the Quran. I'm going to show you how this guy is calling his Allah a liar. Watch. If we go to chapter 39, ayah three. If we read it like as it is. Ayah 3 is saying, read with me guys, belongs not sincere religion to God, Allah is asking, and those who take protectors as apart from Him, we only serve them that they may bring us nay. Oh, this is a really bad translation. Let me switch this horrible translation. Unquestionably, for Allah is the pure, for Allah is the pure religion. Okay? And those who take protectors beside him say, We only worship them that they may bring us near to Allah. We only worship them. What? Okay. Whatever. <laughs> may bring us near to Allah in position. Indeed, Allah will judge between them concerning that over which they differ. Indeed, Allah does not guide he who is a liar and a disbeliever. Guys, this guy, Sabil Ahmed said, you heard him. Sabil Ahmed said, we should pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's what Sabil Ahmed said. We should pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so he will guide people like Christian Prince who is barbecuing Muhammad day in, day out on YouTube. But the Quran in chapter 39, ayah 3 says, Indeed, Allah does not guide he who is a liar and a deceiver, disbeliever, a kafir. So according to this ayah, Allah will for sure, Allah will not guide anyone who is lying, anyone who is deceiving, anyone who is a kafir like Christian prince. So are you, are you saying that Allah is a liar, Mr. Sabil? Sabil, speaking from Kaif, Hira, Hira. Are you calling Allah a liar? Liar? Are you trying to force Allah that he's not what he's not going to do? Brother, are you trying to force Allah? Yeah, this Sabil is a genius, right? A true Muslim, Abdul Aliq. Are you trying to force Allah to do what he's not going to do? He said it, right, guys? And if we go to another ayah, it says in chapter 5, Surah Al-Ma'idah, Ayah 51, O people who believe, that means the Muslims, do not make the Jews and the Christians your friends. Don't ever become friends with Jews and Christians. They are friends of one another. So you cannot be friends with any Jew or Christian, according to the Quran. You as a Muslim should not take Jews and Christians as your friends. They are but friends of one another. And who, whoever among you befriends them, if you're going to become a friend of any Jew or Christian, 
you are going to be one of them. So guys, if a Muslim dares to say, I have a Christian as a friend, or I have a Jew as a friend, he is going to become a kafir, a disbeliever, like the Jews and the Christians. Guys, are you paying attention? I hope you are with me. Give me one if you are with me, guys. And here comes the most important part. Let us spank Dr. Sabil Ahmed once more from a different ayah, right? Indeed, Allah is saying in his yellow pages, indeed, Allah does not guide the unjust. Bam in your face. What did Sabil Ahmed say? Allah is saying, I'm not going to guide the unjust. I'm not going to guide the disbelievers. What did Sabil Ahmed say? Received. And we pray, we should pray for their guidance to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Mr. Sabil, uh, Sabil, speaking from Kif, Hira, are you calling Allah a liar? Are you calling Allah a liar? When he said he will not guide the unjust, he will not guide who is a liar and a disbeliever like Christian Prince. He just called his Allah a liar, man. Sabil Ahmed, you are out of Islam. The moment you call Muhammad and your Allah liars, you are out of Islam. So congratulations, you just left Islam, Mr. Sabil. You and Adnan Rashid left Islam today. So there's no point, exactly music learner, you caught it. There's no point to pray to Allah to guide the disbelievers like Christian Prince, like Rob Christian, like David Wood, because Allah will not do it anyway. So basically in a nutshell, you're calling Allah a liar and a deceiver. You are forcing the sword of Muhammad on the neck of Allah, forcing Allah to guide People who, when he already said, I'm not going to guide them anyway. <laughs> horrible, 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 horrible spanking today, guys. I hope, guys, I hope you enjoyed the spanking. Guys, give me two minutes. Give me two minutes. I'm out of water. And I'll go, I'll come back. Right? I'll come back. Just give me two minutes and we will continue and we will take calls. So go grab yourselves maybe a cookie, maybe some something to drink, a cup of coffee or tea, and we will continue. I'll be right back. All right, guys? I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Am I be heard? Am I be heard? Can you hear my voice? 
Yeah, we had, we took a small break, guys. I had to grab some water. I was out of my water. Yeah, I hope you took some cookies, maybe a cup of coffee. Let's see if we can <clears throat> accept calls. Guys, if you want to call us, we are live on air. Let me open up my Skype. My Skype is open. You can call us, guys. My Skype is open now. My Skype ID is D Rob Christian. Maybe the admins can provide my Skype ID in the chat. Go ahead. And if you want to call, thank you, Abdul Halik. Guys, make sure to keep our admins in your prayers. Keep us in your prayers. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. Smash that like button, guys. Hopefully, we will have also some callers today, guys. So if you want to call us, go ahead, send me a message, call me, we will pick up the phone. And if it doesn't work, send me a message and I will call you back. You know, because we are live and we, you never know if a call comes through. So send me a message if it's not working and I'll call you back. Okay, I see that our sister Vanessa called me. Let me call her back. Sister Vanessa, I'm calling you. Hmm. Hello, sister. You're live on air. Welcome. Yes, hello, brother Rob. Hi, good, how are you? Good uh, morning or good afternoon. I don't know your time there. Yeah, um, good to see you, sister. Welcome. Thank you. I've been following this uh, Adnan Rashid. Mm hmm I have to confess to you, there was a time, you know that sister that calls you from Swika's Corner? Yes, yes, our that sister Kay, right? Was, our sister Kay? Exactly, yeah. exactly. There was a time she was together with one uh, brother there. I think it, that was Brother Yakub. I'm not sure. Yes. And the sister was uh, uh, trying to uh, talk to him a couple of times, and she, he always ignored her. <laughs> and I seem, thought, well, yeah. this is typical Islamic uh, behavior. Yeah. The woman doesn't mean anything, but that's not why I'm coming, uh, calling you. I followed also the two times mm -hmm. um, that uh, Brother David and um, Shamoon, mm -hmm. uh, you know, addressed. Yeah, I've seen the live the, shows. Uh, yeah, I've seen the live yes. shows. Yeah. The point is actually that, you know, Islam or even Quran, it's not... It's, it's a, a deception on the one hand, yeah. and on the other hand, to attack the core belief yeah. in Christianity. Exactly. If, if you look at uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 15, from verse 14, the, the, the core belief yeah. of, of our faith is described there. Yes. If Jesus is not, is not risen, then our faith is vain yes not only a reason right J just to be specific yes. if jesus guys what our sister is is saying is very very important guys listen carefully please to what our sister is saying our sister just said if jesus christ did not die on the cross and he did not resurrect that means our christian faith is in vain christianity is false if jesus did not die on the cross and he did not resurrect Right. So if Muslims are attacking the basics of Christianity, that means they are attacking our very, very Christian faith and they are insulting our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, because Jesus clearly said, I destroy this temple. Jesus said, destroy this temple. And he was talking about his body and I will raise it on the third day. Right. And I will raise it in three days. So if if Muslims are attacking the death and resurrection of Jesus, they are actually saying that Christianity is false. Exactly. Go ahead, Tristan. So the one, the, 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 um, the brain behind all this um, deception is, of course, from the pit of hell. Yes. It's Satan himself. Satan, it's Satan and, who's doing this, yeah. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. So he cannot fight God himself. Yeah. And he knows what is true from what is false. Exactly. So the people 
actually are the ones that are the victims, yeah. the, the Islamists, mm -hmm. that are fighting tooth and nail, and they don't know what they are fighting for. Exactly. And, and just to yeah. add on top what you said, sister, uh, yes. if we go to 1 John chapter 2, verse 22, it clearly says, and it's crystal clear what it says, who is a liar but he who denies that Jesus is the Christ, he is Antichrist who denies the Father and the Son. What did Muhammad That's say? Allah, yes. God, and he claims that it's God. God is not Father to anyone and Jesus is certainly not the Son of God. So here, Muhammad and Allah are the Antichrist. Muhammad is the agent of Satan, right? Because Satan is no one else but Allah. Muhammad is the agent of Satan and Muslims are the followers of Satan himself. Exactly. So, so brother, that is the core foundation. Exactly. The Muslims, the Islamists, the ones, the brain behind it, they know what they are attacking. They are attacking the core foundation, yeah. which is they have to attack the Son of God that is not God. Exactly. So if he's just a prophet and you just take it in as a Christian and think, well, maybe... That means they have won, he has, they have attacked the core foundation, they have destroyed the faith that Jesus is just a prophet. Yeah. Number one. Number two, that, you know, that's another one that is very paramount in uh, the Islamic uh, cult. They say Jesus did not die. Right? Yeah. And if Jesus yeah. did not die, they are Allah, they are Allah that has no spirit, wherever he has the power to exactly. take him to heaven. I do not know. Exactly. But if, if uh, Jesus is not God and Jesus did not die, those are the foundations of our faith. Amen. It is. Amen. It is. So, sister, in a question, here's the one million dollar question. What you are saying is basically this if I am a Muslim, and I hope the people are listening. If I am Muslim and I attack the very fact that Jesus died on the cross and resurrected on the third day, I'm actually attacking Jesus Christ himself. Is that what you're saying? Yes. And you are attacking the core foundation. Brother, if you would, if you could... Um, would you put on First Corinthians chapter fifteen? I always follow the King James first, version. First Corinthians, you first say? First Corinthians, yes. Yes, First Corinthians chapter fifteen yes. from verse fourteen. If it's possible, yes, to sure. read it because this would help. Let me it. let me read it. First from Corinthians up. chapter fifteen, verse fourteen. From verse fourteen. Yeah, well, and, and it says the following, sister. Do you want me to read it? Yes. Oh yes, brother. Okay, okay. I'm going to read it now. Verse 14 says, and if Christ is not risen, if Christ is not risen, then our preaching is empty and your faith is also empty. Did you catch it, guys? And if Christ is not risen, then our preaching is empty and your faith is also empty. So you see how important Christians who are listening, Christians who are watching, if Christ did not rise, if he's not risen from the grave, then our preaching, our very Christian faith is empty and your faith is also empty. Do you see how Muhammad, the evil son of Satan, the agent of Satan actually is attacking the very foundation of Christianity, of the Christian Brother, faith? Can you read, can you read further? Can you read further? It explains it further. Sure. Uh, let me see if I can put more verses up. Let's see. Uh, the, the, this, uh, the King James version. Yeah, and verse fifteen is saying. Yeah, King James. Yeah, let me let me put the the King James version. No problem. Let's see. Okay. If we continue to the next verse, let me read it for you. Verse fifteen. Yeah, and we are found false witnesses of God if we don't accept that Jesus is risen. We are false witnesses like Muhammad because we have testified of God that he raised up, that he raised up God, that he raised up Christ. Do you see it? 
So Christ, God the Father raised up the Son, Christ, whom he raised not up, if so be that the dead not rise. For if the dead rise not, then is not Christ raised. And if Christ be not raised, your faith is vain. Ye are yet in your sins. So actually, if Christ did not conquer death and was risen, is risen, that means we will be dead in our sins. We should not be saved. We will die in our sins. We will all end up in hellfire. So do you see, guys, how important it is in Christianity that Jesus is risen? And risen is he, of course, in it. And Messiah قام, حقا قام, right? Yeah. Exactly. You know, Jesus himself said, if I be lifted up from the earth, yeah. I will draw all men unto me. Yes. Now they said, I, we said, but I come for the children of Israel. Jesus said, I am come for the whole world, but I have to die. A seed has to die. If the seed does not die, it cannot bring forth fruit. Amen. And so Jesus said, Amen. if I be lifted up from the earth, I will draw all men, not only the Jews, not only the Israelites, so I must die yeah. like a seed. Amen. And then I will rise again, and then the whole fruit will be yeah. mankind, whoever, whosoever believes in me. So yeah. the prince behind, of course it's Satan, yeah. but the prince, the real ones behind this deception of the Islamists, yeah. that they are, they, are, they are taking people from different countries to Saudi Arabia and to their countries and train them this deception, they know what they are doing. Yeah. Exactly. Sister. Yes. And we need to, you know, I fear for our child. I don't fear because I know God is able. Our children, we need to talk to them. We need to train them. That uh, uh, Nabi life, I don't call him doctor because it's Islamic uh, uh, idiocy that they are using to call themselves doctors. Yeah. That guy knows what he's doing. He's collecting thousands of, of i don't know where he lives in the in the states right yeah. he's collecting thousands of uh, american dollars yeah. for the exception exactly. and there is blood in his heart yeah. just like adnan yeah. rashid yeah. there's blood in there exactly. the there was there was a, an islamist i was uh, uh, chatting with they are they today. are basically murderers I, like their father satan satan was yes. the first murderer and when they are actually followers of islam and muhammad they become murderers like and they are their father Satan. In, in exactly. clothing. Yeah. They appear to you gentle. They yeah. appear to you. Look at the 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 um uh way Christian prince was like telling. I could feel him mm -hmm. telling the people, "Don't fall for this deception." Of course, it is deception. You know, in the United Kingdom, a couple of years ago, they took our they. They got hold, these Islamists, they got hold of two of, of our, our Christian children and they trained them and they cut off the head of a soldier. Yeah. I'm sure if you go online, you'll find it. So they are yeah. using our children against us. Yeah. They will throw this deception at them. And if you are not, the foundation will be shaken if you do not know what you believe in. Yeah. Please. Yeah. It's we have very to important. Know what we yeah. Yes, this yes. Like we we need to teach our you children, know? right? Even if it's just it's one like, hour a week, you need to teach your yes. child. You need to teach your beloved children the gospel. You know, you I, need to teach them what I, our Christian yeah. faith is about. You know, it's yeah. very important. Yeah. Baal worship was always contesting with God in ancient times. Always. It's yeah. always this bar worship, and this is modern day bar worship. This Islam. Yeah. They, they 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 come with this deception. They use. Do you ask yourself how yeah. come in all the prophet's names they have in their in their Quran, why are they Jewish names? Mm -hmm. Every name, the only name they put in between is their uh, uh, local champion there, uh, uh, Muhammad. That yeah. is the only gentle name they put in between. Yes, exactly. So they, they, they cover it up, say we yeah. also are Abrahamic faith. It's a lie from the pit of hell. Yeah, exactly. God will help us. Exactly. Thank you, Thank sister, you. so much. Thank you. It's always an amazing 
time to have you on our uh, live show that you are live yes. on air with us uh you know i can't say it enough you know without you sister without our supporters without our viewers we cannot do this we need you guys to call us we need you to watch our videos download our videos and thank you so much sister for your amazing call god bless you stay god safe bless god bless you. your family my prayers god bless your family thank you i appreciate it sister god, god bless, bless you thank you bye sister bye. vanessa bye-bye 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 yes. do you have any other callers guys god bless this dear sister of ours she always calls us and shares an amazing knowledge with us thank you sister god bless you do you have more callers guys hello my friend your life on air go ahead Hey, hello, brother Rob. How are you? Hi, I'm very good. I'm good, my friend. Uh, how yeah, about God. you? I hope you're doing okay too. Yeah, I'm doing okay. God bless you all, and God bless the sister who called just right Amen. now. Amen. God bless you too, my friend. Uh, sure. I have two. I have two questions, and the first one is uh, sorry about my English. First, no, 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 first no. I, your English is perfect, man. Go ahead. Uh, so, what is the, what is the purpose of a Muslim if he sees all the evidence and he really cares about his afterlife yes. what is the what is the purpose of a muslim and i say if he really cares about his soul what is the purpose of this muslim to deny all of your evidence and all of this mm -hmm. all of all of the stuff what what is the purpose brother if you know well uh, the purpose is uh, can be can only be a couple of things and let me give you a couple of example to deny this is let's say you are born in a muslim family right you don't know better. You, they have, you know, from a child, as a child, they, your parents have told you, you go to, to the mosque. They, t they taught you Muhammad is a prophet. He's the final prophet. Uh, they taught them Christianity is false. Uh, Jews are, uh, must, must all go, right? As the hadith says, all Jews must die, else the last hour will not be established. So basically, judgment day will not be established. All Jews must be killed. I mean, if you're grown in such a family, right? And they taught you the hate. What do you think will become of you? Right? Yeah, I'm, I mean, not these people. Yeah. I mean, not these people. It's it, it's it's kind of logical that the uh, people in the Arabia don't can talk about. I mean, the yeah. people in like Austria, Switzerland, Germany, they mm -hmm. can read the gospel and still they they mocking us and mocking you. Yo, mocking. No, 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 my friend. Muslims actually, their imams always tell them, don't read the gospel. They actually are afraid to read the gospel because when they're going to read the gospel, maybe, maybe they will be convinced and leave Islam and become Christians. So their imams always tell them, imagine, imagine their imams tell them, don't read the gospel because it might hurt you. You know, maybe it will get, deceive you and you'll become a Christian. So they always warn the Muslims, don't read the gospel. Go to Ahmadidat, right? Go to uh, Zakir Naik and he will teach you about Christianity. But imagine, imagine if we do the same, right? We don't go yeah. to Quran.com or you don't go to QuranWow.com. We don't go to Sunnah.com to learn or, or open, uh, buy a Quran and learn from the Quran what the Quran actually says. But that's not what the Imams are saying to them. You, you, you should not read the gospel because it might hurt you. Right. It might cause you to leave Islam. So they are actually afraid to read the gospel. So what are they doing? They are actually listening to people like Adnan Rashid. They listen to Zakir Naik. They listen to Ahmadidat and they think they know about Christianity. That's the problem with Muslims. Yeah, this is true. This is yeah. true. But they don't they they don't have to start with the gospel. First, all Muslims should read the Quran from the beginning to the end. And I think this would be one step to come to come closer but no. i see it here in austria in at the speaker's corner they, they get the evidence from the christian preachers and yeah you know what funny is my friends since since you uh, just said you said that they should read the quran well the quran if you read it you'll understand that actually jesus did die let me prove yes. to you my friend let me prove to you that the quran actually does say yeah, I know that. Die, right? If we I go know. to chapter 3, I 55. Guys, pay attention and take notes. Surat Ali Amran. Surat Ali Amran, chapter 3, I 55. Read with me. Recall what time Allah said. 
Guys, pay attention, please. I hope you're with me. Give me one if you're with me that I know that you're listening carefully. Oh, Isa. So Allah is saying, oh, oh, Isa. Right? Oh, Isa, who they call Jesus. Verily, oh. I shall make thee, what? I shall make thee die. And I'm lifting thee to myself. So do you see, guys, that G Isa actually, who they claim is Jesus, actually yes. did die on the cross and Allah raised him up? Did you see it? Even the Quran of Allah, even the Quran of the fake prophet of Islam does not refute the fact that Jesus did die and the proof is in front of you. Don't say, Rob Christian, this is your translation. No, no. It says clearly, If قَالَ اللَّهُ يَا Isa, إِنِّي مُتَوَفِّيكَ I cause you, I am causing you to die. What? 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 And I'm raising you up. I'm lifting you up to myself. Right? Yeah. I am causing you to die. Mutawafika. You know, for example, my fa my own father died, guys. When a someone is asking me, Rob Christian. I'm sorry, what happened? brother. Yeah, thank you, my friend. You know, that's that's what will happen to all of us. Yeah, Thank I know, you, I appreciate know. it. But you know, if I want to say in Arabic, guys, pay attention, I am an Arabic speaker. If someone asks me, where is your father? I will say, Abuya, my dad, Abuya, my father, Tawaffa. What? Again? Abuya Tawaffa. 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 Mutawafika. Tawaffa. Mutawafika. Do you hear it? Tawaffa. The root word, Mutawafika. So here Allah is saying, Isa, O oh Isa, Verily, I shall make thee die. Inni mutawafika, cause you to die. Wa arfa'uka, I will raise you up. So actually, Allah is confirming the death of Jesus on the cross, and He is confirming the resurrection of Jesus. Hallelujah. Do you see? Hallelujah. Even in the evil Quran of Allah, their death and resurrection is confirmed. Chapter three, ayah fifty-five. Take notes. Let me give you the link. This is the translation of Daryabadi. Here, Daryabadi forgot to do taqiyah. Do you see it, my friend? All the <laughs> translations did taqiyah, but this guy, Daryabadi, forgot to use taqiyah. He forgot it. Clearly, that day when he woke up, he forgot to eat taqiyah. <laughs> right? He forgot to eat taqiyah, so he forgot to do taqiyah in his translation. Oops! He slipped, he slipped. Oops! <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> Do you see it, guys? So, brother, this was the first question. And the second question was Do we Christians and even the Jews or the Buddhists and all of the other people, do we, ha do we have to be afraid? Is it for you possible that if this deception goes over, that one day really the Islam took over the world? Is it possible? What is possible? Sorry, I didn't catch what you said. Can you please is, is it is it is it possible that uh, one day really Islam took over the world and then that we are really no, in danger? No, no. Go, God forbid. Lord willing, if if they will attack our countries, I'll be one of the first to defend my loved ones, my family, <laughs> whenever that happens. But you know, I think the Western world is not stupid to allow, especially countries like United States. They will never ever allow any Middle Eastern country, any Arab country become the greatest or, you know, the greatest army. It will never happen. Yes, maybe one day they will be united, but we will crush them. Lord willing, yeah, but we, you, will, we will fight to defend. It will yes, never happen, but, Lord willing. But you see in the UK, there are Muslim areas where Christians are not allowed to pass. And yeah, they, they, yeah they, 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 they will try to infiltrate, right? They will try to infiltrate. But trust me, it will never, it will never happen. The Western world is not that stupid. Yes, they are allowing them to come. They are allowing them to infiltrate. But Lord willing, they will never ever succeed because Christians are allowed to defend themselves. I'll be one of the first to grab a weapon to defend <laughs> my, myself and my family because we are allowed to defend ourselves according to the Bible. It's a Christian belief that you are allowed to defend yourself. Where do you think self-defense is from? It's from the Bible, right? Yeah. So... No, God, okay. God forbid it will never happen. 
Okay, super. But because this is a, a little bit, it starts a little. I'm from Austria, and it starts a little bit crazy uh, here. Don't lose faith, But, yeah. If anyone, don't lose faith. Christ is with us, and we will, for sure. Even if if we, some people might die, some Christians might die, but we will die as lions. We will die as lions because we are followers of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Yeah, brother, because my biggest problem is since since one year I started really with the following you and yeah. uh, CP, CP and doing my homework, post posting the stuff yeah. and. Well, I think so the the Jews, my friend, I think the Jews should be worried first because according to Islam, right? According to very Sahih Hadith, and I always play it in my intro, right? And you see yeah. this kid always reciting with a lot of echo, right? Wow, shaitan. Yeah, it's, yeah, they are even brainwashing their children. He says, yeah. right, the last hour, right, the last hour will not be established till all the Jews die. They must die, else judgment day will not be established. So the, actually the, the Jews, the Israelites, they should be the ones who, you know, because they will go after them first. They have to kill all the Jews. I mean... You know, Muslims always dare to say Hitler was a really bad man. He killed millions and millions of Jews. But Muhammad wants to get genocide, huge genocide on all the Jews. Which much worse, Hitler or Muhammad? Allah or Muhammad? You can be the judge of that. I mean, yes, Hitler killed maybe six million Jews. And we know that's really horrible. That's a genocide but Allah, yeah, Allah and, and his prophet want to kill all the Jews who is more worse Hitler or Muhammad you can be the judge of that this is this is not a, this this should not be a question this yeah. is of this is of course yes. now because I posted this stuff since a year ago and mm. I'm, a, I'm I'm a Croatian I'm not a German or something like this and mm -hmm. some people attacked me really attacking me in the chat people they knowing me so Muslims mm -hmm. uh, when we get you we will We will do this and that, yeah. do this and that, only because of these things. And every every month, my Facebook is yeah. is is blocked. <laughs> and, but I yeah. don't do any hate speech, brother. What yeah, a Christian! I know, I, I know, what, what a Christian I would I be know. if I have hate in my heart. I, I know exactly what what you're what you're trying to say. But you know, it is it is what it is. Uh, you know, they will never they will try to silence us. They will try their best, but. We will always come back stronger, right? Don't don't lose faith, my friend. Stay strong, and no, brother, no, brother. Yeah, I know, okay. I know, I know. Uh, you know, you Croatians are really true warriors. I know, <laughs> you know, I know, you. I know, I know your history with the with the Turkish Muslims in the Ottoman Empire. I know. Yeah, we we I defend know. we defend Europe, brother. Yeah, we are, I know. We you are warriors. Europe. You know, you know, Christian, <laughs> you Croatian Christians. You know, I, I really, you know, because of people like you, you know, people. Because of uh, you know uh, the battles that 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 happened uh, with the with Europeans against yeah. the Ottoman Empire, if you if you didn't defeat them, right? If you didn't defeat them in Austria, right? The battle in Austria, uh, Europe maybe would have been become Muslim by now. So, no, the the Ottomans yeah. they came first. The first route yeah. was through the Balkan, through Croatia, I and know. then I know. Croatia yeah. stopped them, and they, they go through Hungary to yes. Vienna. Yes, Vienna, and, and, yeah. Yeah, and yeah, they got, yeah. and they got, uh, you know, uh, they they destroyed But, them there. And, and you they, don't think something like this yeah. could happen today? Still, no, no, no. you know, okay. we are, you know, the Western Western world. First of all, they're not stupid, and they have the power. You know, they have the power. I mean, look what America's doing in the Middle East. No one can can go against them. You know, they try out the like, uh, maybe maybe they will kill a couple of soldiers. But look what what they did to the general. You know, I, I to be honest with you, I really don't like to go too much into politics. I don't yeah, yeah, like yeah. that topic too much. But you know, look what uh, the general, uh, you know, of of Iran, what happened to him, right? They would yeah, try, yeah. but you know, America is not not that stupid. So the last thing I want to say before I go yeah. to sleep is, I really, uh, I really sometimes could cry because here in Austria and in Germany. You can, uh, Lord, forgive me. You can spit, you can spit on the name of Jesus. Nobody, nobody will even. They they say you are cool or something like this. Mm -hmm. But when you speak about the, the the satanic Quran, you have all of them over you, brother. It's mm -hmm. like, 
it's like they are like ants coming up to you exactly exactly thank you for calling okay, my friend brother. thank you thank you brother god for having you. me stay safe my friend thank god you bless friend. you brother thank you for the audience and god bless you all thank you so much god bless ciao, you ciao ciao bye bye do we have more callers guys let's see if we can take another call let's see Uh, all right. Uh, we have a, a brother called Alexander. Welcome. Go ahead, my friend. Hi, hi, Rob. Hi. How are you? I'm good, my friend. Your life on air. Go ahead. Yes. Thank. Thank you for the uh, take the call. Uh, I just no, want bro. to say uh, I think this case with the Muslims with this uh, challenge from David Wood. Yes. I think uh, this challenge, uh, this this case is closed because the Muslims don't understand: is the Bible corrupt? Is the Islam false? Is yeah. the Bible not corrupt? The Islam is also false. Yeah. I think they are they they are not realizing that. <clears throat> But uh, I have two other uh, points: yeah. one for this uh, ultimate truth, ultimate fart. He claims in the chat that uh, the resurrection of Jesus was not uh, physical. Yeah. I just want to say in John twenty twenty seven, I just read. Uh, Then Jesus said to Thomas, put "Just your a second, my friend. I want to put it on the on the screen. John, what? So come again. Uh, John twenty twenty seven. You can start with twenty six. Abdul that does not understand that we are on the call and is trying to call me. <laughs> My friend, why are you calling me while I'm in the middle of a call? I I really that's stupid. Anyway, I I think you read I it, think my friend. Is, read it. I think 26. this is ulti ultimate fart. But uh, John twenty twenty six. Yes, read it. Uh, Eight days later, his disciples were once again inside with the doors locked, and Thomas was with them. Yes. Jesus came and stood among them and said, "Peace be with you." Then Jesus said to Thomas, "Put your fingers here and look at my hands. Reach out your hand and put into my side. Stop doubting and believe." Amen. Thomas, re Thomas replied, "My Lord and my God." Yeah. Jesus said to him, "Because you have seen me, you have believed. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed." Amen. 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 So, do you see, guys? So, yeah. So there is nothing, nothing like uh, imaginary or not physical. This is the real resurrection. This Amen. is Amen. the Lord. What did Thomas Jesus call? Christ. What did Thomas call Jesus, my friend? Can you repeat that part? My, my Lord and my God. Yeah, and Thomas answered and said to him, "My Lord and my God." Do you see, guys? I mean, Thomas is one of the the twelve disciples, right? He did not believe that Jesus was risen. He did not believe. He said, "If I don't see it with my own eyes and I don't put my finger in his wounds, I will not believe." And then Jesus appeared to him and said, "Look, put your fingers in my side, right? Put my your fingers in my hand, in my wounds." And then, when Thomas saw it, he dropped on his knee and he called Jesus his Lord and his God. Do you see it, guys? So, if Amen. we have an eyewitness, should we believe an eyewitness, one of the twelve eyewitnesses, or should we believe a liar, a deceiver like Muhammad, six hundred years later? Muslims, who should we believe? And amen. The people who did not see it, they are the blessed ones. We are the blessed ones, guys, because we did not see, but we believe. We did not see with our eyes, but we believe that Jesus died and resurrected on the third day. Amen, my friend. Thank you for mentioning. Yes, first. and 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 I have uh, also a point for this uh, Hussein Zemani for this Shia guy. Yeah, the Shia yellow shoes guy. Uh, yes, I <laughs> I I. I I will challenge him uh, if he can show me just one ayah, one verse in the Quran, yeah, uh, with the twelve imams, please. Yeah, <laughs> just one, just one verse with the twelve imams, and I take the Shia Shahada. Exactly, exactly. Uh, did you hear it, Hussein Zamani? I hope you are listening. Our brother just challenged you. I hope he's still around. I'm not sure if he's still in the live chat. Our brother here challenged you. If you can show him one ayah. That is talking about the twelve imams. He will take his shahada. Well, I think he's uh, he's uh, Allah silenced him. I think. What do you think, bro? He's not answering in the live. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe Allah But, Allah uh, Allah put him. Uh, you know. 
to sleep. If you uh, in this video with Rashid, uh, this Rashid uh, Adnan Rashid, yeah, he says uh, that are not the gospels. Yeah, you know, Hussein Zamani just answered. He said, "You don't know about Hussein Zamani. Are you listening, Hussein? Our brother here just said he challenged you. He said if you can show him." One ayah that is talking about the 12 Imams of Shia, our brother here, a Christian brother who is on, on the life call, he will take his Shahada, Hussein Zamani. Can you provide the ayah in the Quran that is talking about the 12 Imams of Shia? Let's see. <laughs> Let's see if he's going to answer. I don't think he's going to answer. Because he knows it's not there. there. It's there is there. nothing like this. Yeah, not There's there. nothing there. Yeah. But uh, uh, Adnan Rashid... Uh, claims that uh, he don't uh, talk about the gospel yeah. and uh, two minutes later he quote from matthew gospel that yeah. this, the, cherry this picking is, yeah yeah cherry this picking, is, yeah. This is yeah. stupid this, this is crazy this is this yeah no 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 normal person right no Should, i mean you are saying the new testament is corrupted that's what he said right then why are you and what's your proof that that verse that you are quoting is not corrupted Yes, right? that's What's the your point. Proof? I mean, you, the you're point. calling the whole New Testament corrupted, and then you want to cherry pick what you like, what is agreeing with you, your agenda? <laughs> that's the point. Hip you hypocrite? He's a hypocrite. This guy that you see here is a hypocrite. That's what he is. Is is there a Muslim that he is not a hypocrite? <laughs> well, I, I don't know. Uh, you tell me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you, actually, if you're a follower of Muhammad in 2020, you are a hypocrite because you are a follower of a hypocrite fake prophet who kept contradicting himself over and over, right? Yes, of course. Yeah. And there is there is one more point. The, uh, when you type in sunnah.com only the word antichrist, yeah. the Muslim have uh, 42 uh, hadith in sunnah.com which they uh, translate dajjal with the antichrist yes. so this is a specific uh, is a muslim statement yeah yeah and um, why why antichrist why, why is he why, called why, why is, yeah, why why is, is he, he called the antichrist yeah. why not the anti allah or anti muhammad exactly. where is where is the point for this antichrist exactly what, muslims are you listening why why is islam talking about the antichrist why is it not call, uh, calling it anti muhammad uh, or anti-Allah. Why always Antichrist? Because we know why Muhammad wanted to convince the Christians. The Christians knew this guy's a fake, he's a scam, and they they rejected him. So he wanted to try, you know, be friends with the Christians. He had no idea that the Christians will reject him. This is why he came up with the Dajjal, the Antichrist. That's why. So there, there is uh, this, yeah. this obvious, obvious. This is a cherry picking from every religion, from every cult. In a, any situation, Muhammad can take any any profit of of this yeah. cult or this claim. He takes it. He took it, and yeah. it's it's obvious. But uh, I just want to confirm from this uh, Croatian brother from Austria. I am a Serb. He is yeah. my brother in Christ. Wow! There is Amazing. <laughs> there is nothing. I I don't yeah. feel anything against him of because yeah. our history is very bloody. We're all, brother, we're all brothers in Christ, exactly. You know. Can... He is he is he is my yeah. brother in Christ, and Amen I to just that. want to co to confirm uh, Austria, Germany, Switzerland. Here are the 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 the, crimi the crim yeah. criminals are the Muslims. Yeah. They drive they drive fancy cars. They yeah. have. Uh, the, the 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 they are they are criminals and it's cool in Germany Austria Switzerland it's cool to be a Muslim yeah. the Swiss the Swiss kids uh, the talks uh, with Inshallah Alhamdulillah they even don't know what is this but it's cool it's yeah. it's it's an attribute of coolness here and uh, I confirm <laughs> and you you can the people here spit on the Bible on Jesus on yeah. everything no no but, but they love Jesus my friend. Muslims say we love Jesus, and, now they, and they're spitting on Jesus. You see the love of Jesus, guys? They spit on Jesus in Germany, but they love Jesus. 
Right? That's their law I'm, for Jesus. I'm 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 from Switzerland and I talk yeah. uh, I I don't <laughs> fear I don't I don't have fear from any any Muslim. I talk offensive and I say what uh, what is the truth and uh, every time God is there. God bless you, my uh, friend. God bless you. And every time is there problems and uh, yes violence and but uh, if I die for the truth and for Jesus' name, it's a blessing for me. Amen, my friend. Amen. So that would be um, the highest honor, my friend. Exactly. I th I think so. I think yeah. so. That's when when is a reason in yeah. this world to die? Then is for Jesus yeah. and for my family and other things are not yeah. important. Yeah. Thank you for calling, my friend. Uh, Thank you, I brother. Think we spoke Paul. before. It's always amazing, you know, to share your knowledge with us. Keep calling us, my friend. God bless you. Thank you, brother. God bless you and your family and the audience it. and your follower. Amen. Thank you so much. Bye, brother. Bye, bye. God bless you. Go, go with peace of Christ. Bye, bye. Peace of Christ, brother. Ta -ta. Amazing calls, guys. Amazing calls. Uh, let's see. Let's see. We have a Muslim. I hope it's not ultimate shirk because if it's going to be ultimate shirk, I don't want to waste my time with him. Let's see. Hello? Ultimate daddy, you're going to hang up? Yes, I'm going to hang up you on you because you're a waste of time. I knew it was him, guys. I knew it was him. You know, this is what it is. Uh, let me call this person back. Uh, our J brother Jay. Brother Jay, I'm calling. Waste of time. Hello. Hello. Welcome, Brother Jay. You're live on air. Go ahead. Oh, hello, Rob. How are yeah. you today? I'm good, my friend. Yeah, you were you were, you were actually. I think it was you. It was ultimate shirk. So you know, I don't want to waste my time with this wannabe. Uh, what is he? Nigerian? Oh, yeah. or, no, I wanted uh, you to know if an Abdul yeah. was calling you, I want to call him back first. Yeah. <laughs> so go ahead, that's, my that's friend. Welcome, brother. That, that's what you're there for. It's it's always comedy. Yeah, it's it's yeah. comedy when they try to defend their cult. It's yeah, wonderful. Yeah, you you like you like our spanking today, huh? We spanked, oh, we, we spanked Adnan Rashid. I lost, I lost time. How many times I spanked him the last two days? <laughs> Yesterday was, was part one. Today was part two, and we also spanked Sabil Ahmed, right? Who, who really, uh, really, yeah. you helped him spank his prophet, which was even better. <laughs> yeah, it was good. Huh? You enjoyed it. Yeah, it was wonderful. I know, I loved it. And, and a quick question for you: with the last caller, he was talking about the the Antichrist. Yes, I wonder. Uh, there was that verse talking about the difference between yeah. Allah and the Antichrist when they come. Yeah. There's no mention of the two arms on one side. Does the Antichrist have two arms on one side too? Or do the Muslims know they have to kill anyone that shows up with two arms on one side? Well, according to uh, according to the Hadith, he, he looks exactly like Allah, right? Exactly. Yeah. Only the difference is the, the, the Dajjal has just one eye and Allah has... More than one eye. That's it. Right. That's the only difference. Right? Right. Right. So, so two, arm, two arms yeah. on one side, Antichrist then too, just like Allah? And why the Antichrist? I, I, I've, we have been asking this question. Why not the anti-Muhammad? Why, why not the anti-Allah? Why the Antichrist Muslims? I want to know. Why question. Antichrist? I mean, is Good question. basically this means that Christ, as we see in chapter 9, Right. If we go to chapter nine, clearly, Al Masih is equal with Allah. This is why Muhammad is calling him the Antichrist. Because Jesus, if we go to chapter nine, ayah thirty-one, right? It says they have taken their scholars, right, and priests. They have taken their priests and their monks as lords, minduna Allah, right? Besides Allah and the Messiah, it's there's nothing called mm. also. It says mm. Allah wal Masih, right? Mindun instead of Mindun Allah wa al Messiah. So here it says that the, that you know those fake Christians or whatever they have taken their rabbis and their monks, right, as mm. lords besides Allah wa al Messiah. I think here Muhammad forgot to do taqiyya and he made Allah <laughs> and al Messiah equal with one another. You see, guys, it says Allah. Do you see it? Allah wa al-Masih. 
Allah and the Messiah are the true Lords. Arbaban min dun Allah wal Messiah. Do you see it? Mm -hmm. So who are the Lords? Mm -hmm. Who are the Arbab? Arbaban? Those are Allah and the Messiah. Maybe that's why Muhammad wanted to say the Antichrist because clearly Al Masih is on the same level with Allah in Islam and the proof is in front. Mm. Yeah. There you are. There you are. That's beautiful, brother. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. I well, I wanted to um, just ask your input too uh, on this whole challenge because I had a thought about it, the way that it was pitched. And I mean, I'm trying to. I can't ignore the outright hypocrisy of it. Can you imagine the outrage yeah. from the Muslims telling, you know, if we had a bunch of Christians mm -hmm. saying they need to support one of their doctrines with the exact wording that we chose, it would, it would be outrage. Uh, so the hypocrisy is just disgusting, first of all. Exactly. Uh, second of all, I don't think Jesus would have ever said that, and, and certainly even not in those words. Um, mm -hmm. and, and I have a few verses. Do you mind if I go through a couple? Sure, sure, sure. Go ahead. Um, first one is in John chapter five. Just a second. Actually, Let me put it. John, John, two, yeah, no, it's John chapter eight, verse 13. Okay. Let me put it on the screen, my friend. Okay. Do you want me to read it or do you want to read it? Go, yourself? Please. Yeah, yeah, no, no, please go right ahead. Cause I'll, I'll name the verses and you can feel free to read if you yeah. like. Absolutely. Okay. John eight verse 13 says the Pharisees therefore said to him, you bear witness of yourself. Your witness is not true. That's what the Pharisees you see, in, yeah. right in the in the Jewish uh, you know Torah in in the, in the Jewish culture, yeah. you know uh, a truth had to be established yes. by two or three witnesses, yeah. and so you know for Jesus to have simply said you know I am this person, number one it, it, that would have invalidated him in their eyes in their cultural perspective because he was bearing witness of himself. It would have actually given them reason to to reject him rather than accept him. Yeah. In addition to that. Um, if you will now, if we could go to John uh, chapter 5, starting at verse 31. Uh, yes, 31, 2. Yeah, John chapter 5, verse 31. Okay. It says and, the following, and, if I bear witness of yeah, myself. If you can read that, yeah. if, if you can actually read that, just just go ahead. If you can, just read it up until the end of the chapter there. because there's. And I'll stop you where I, I, I okay. notice something really important okay. to take notice of. No problem. Uh, verse 31, if I bear witness of myself, my witness is not true. There's another that beareth witness of me. And I know that the witness which he witness of me is true. Ye sent unto John, and he bear witness unto the truth. Verse so John 30, is the yeah. first. John yeah. is the first witness. There yes. we go. There's one. Yeah. And continue. But I receive not my destiny from men, but these things that I say that ye may might be saved. He was a burning and a sh shining light, and you you were willing for a season to rejoice in his light. But I have greater witness than that of John, for the works which you with which the Father hath given me to finish the same works that I do bear witness of me that the Father has sent me. And so his works and yeah. the Father. His works and the Father are two and three. Keep going. Amen. Amen. And the Father himself, which hath sent me, hath borne witness of me. Ye have neither heard his voice at any time nor seen his shape. That's verse 37. Do you want me to continue? Yeah, uh, yeah, and and just right there. So, so I do want to draw attention to that. Yes. Who was speaking to Moses then? I think it's Jesus, right? I think it's Jesus, my friend. Go yeah. ahead and continue. Yeah, uh, we stopped at thirty-seven, and let me continue. Uh, 30, we're on thirty-eight. We're on yeah. thirty-eight. Yes. Yeah, sir. and ye have not, and ye, and ye have not His word abiding in you, for whom He had sent Him, ye believe not. Search the Scriptures, for in them ye think you have eternal life. And they are they which testify of me. And you will There's not... number four scriptures. Yes. Scriptures bear witness. Number also, four. Yeah. Keep going. And you will not come to me that you may might have life. I receive not honor from men, but I know you that you have not the love of God in you. Right there, brother. No. I do not receive glory from people. Yes. I do not receive glory from people. Amen. There we go. Yeah. Continue, brother. Uh, okay, uh, let me put more. 42, verse 42, brother, sorry. Yeah, 
Let me put more verses up and we will continue with the. I'm next. sorry. Yeah, I no, know no, this no, is no, long, problem, but no there's problem. a lot of there's a lot of beauty in this yeah. and it refutes everything they're saying. Yeah. But I know you that you have not the love of God in you and continuing. I come in my father's name and you receive me not. If another shall come in his own name, him you will receive. How can you believe wow. which, which receive <laughs> honor one of another and seek not the honor that comes from God only? Do not think that I will accuse you to the Father. There is one that accuses you, even Moses, in whom you trust. That's the last verse. That, do you want me to continue? Uh, for if you believed Moses, you would believe me, for he wrote of me. Ah, so yeah, so Moses yeah. is the fifth witness. Yeah. But if you do not believe his writings, how will you believe my words? Exactly. So the point I want to draw from this chapter yes. is that for Jesus to have declared yeah. what all the witnesses have already declared is to also declare that the witnesses are in sufficient yeah and jesus that, is also that, yeah and jesus also saying that moses wrote about him imagine what yeah. jesus is saying here moses wrote yeah. about him says jesus but if you believe yes. not in his writing how shall you believe in my words so jesus is actually saying the moses right moses was writing about jesus who the messiah yes. to come and who is the yes. messiah he is the son of god the son of man the son of man that daniel the book of daniel also prophesied about he that and will I come like on the clouds to, of heaven right amen and i would like to mention this too and and for the muslim challenge which which aside taking away from the thing that they want the exact words mm -hmm. revelation 1 and revelation 22 both show jesus claiming the title of alpha and omega, omega. which even in the quran is the one of the names of yeah. allah the exactly. first and the last exactly so so jesus is in that moment claiming god and that time he can because now he has finished his work, conquered everything, and redeemed the world. That's where his declaration belongs. They, the Muslims mm -hmm. just want it to appear in the chapters they want it to appear in. They mm -hmm. want it to appear in the record of his life. But it appears later on at the time that it's appropriate for him to make the declaration. So they're being dishonest, yes. they're being disingenuous, and it is a lie, and they should reject the stupid challenge that they put out there. Yeah, yeah. the Quran in chapter 57, my friend, to, uh, to add up what you said, Jesus is claiming to be the Alpha and Omega, the first and last. And Allah in chapter 57, Surah Al-Hadid, Ayah 3 says, He says, He only is the Father and, sorry, He's only the first and He only the last. You see it? So Allah claiming to, to be the first and last. And Jesus is making the same deity claim when He said in the book of Revelation, he, I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and last. Amen, Amen. brother. Amen. So, Even a broken clock can be right twice a day, yeah. right? <laughs> Muslims, you have to deal with this. Jesus, that you call a mere prophet, he claimed the same claim that Allah in the Quran claimed before mm. Allah gave it to Muhammad. So are you saying that Allah is making the same claims that Jesus made 600 years before Muhammad? Isn't that actually, isn't according to your belief, Jesus is blaspheming, calling himself Allah? Wow. <laughs> Wow. How do we even know that the verses that are denying uh, Jesus's deity are not are not abrogated and those abrogated verses were lost? How do we not yeah, know? Yeah. Well, actually, Muhammad is stealing. He's stealing from the book of Revelation. You know, he's copying what Jesus is saying right? and copying mm. it in his yellow pages, which is <laughs> Quran, right? <Yeah. laughs> it is what it is, my friend. It's nothing but uh, maybe, plagiarizing. Maybe Copy paste. Challenge for the uh, challenge for the Quran Muslims is is maybe they could show us where where Muta is abrogated. Show us in the Quran where Muta yeah, is abrogated. Yeah, like, I'll take jihada. Indeed, chapter four, right? Chapter four, ayah uh, yeah. twenty four. Twenty four. Yeah. Right, the Muta of Allah, the pimp Allah, and his Muta. Can you show us an ayah in the Quran where it says that Muta is abrogated? I mean, Muhammad practiced Muta. Abu Bakr, Ali, Ibn Abbas, Omar. All of them practice muta. Can you show us in one ayah in the Quran that abrogates chapter four, ayah twenty-four, the muta of Allah, right? What your and head, what right your head, right shahada. hand, yeah, and we will take the shahada <laughs> if you can show us the abrogation of muta in the Quran. Exactly. 
Amen, brother. And God bless you, Rob Christian. I, I'm so happy on YouTube. I'm so happy I found you. I'm happy and so grateful for brothers like you and Christian Prince and David Wood and Sam Shamoon. And I support all your ministries and I wish you all the very, very best. Thank you for giving me your time and taking my call, brother. Thank you so much. God bless you. Thank you for calling. I appreciate it. Bye-bye. Thank you, brother. Uh, I think we we are we don't have real Muslims today. We have only Rashad Khalifa boys. Let's see if we have another caller. Do we have Muslims, guys? People in the chat, do we have Muslims who wants to call? I think Muslims don't dare to defend Adnan Rashid and Dr. Sabil Ahmed. Right? They do they do not dare to call us to defend they're heroes. What happened, guys? Come on, man. Guys, I think we'll wrap this up. Uh, we had amazing calls. Today we showed you how Adnan Rashid was doing mental gymnastics and we spanked him in part two today. We did that last time in part one. Today in part two, we spanked Dr. Sabil Ahmed and we challenge you our challenge still stands strong. Show us one ayah in the Quran where it says the gospel is corrupted. You cannot show us. It's not there. Right, Muslims? So how dare you? How dare you to say that the gospel is corrupted if you cannot defend your claim from one ayah in the Quran? Guys, thank you for watching. God bless you. Uh, thank you, iPhone 3G. Thank you for saying uh, that this was an amazing live stream. We are only here to serve, guys. I, I myself, I'm replaceable. You don't need me. I myself need Jesus. You all need Jesus, right? But if it's the plan of God to use my knowledge, my language, the Arabic language, to expose the lies of Muhammad, the lies of Allah in the Quran, and the Muslim apologists like Adnan Rashid, then so be it. Thank you for watching. Go with the peace of Christ. May Jesus bless you and bless your loved ones. Stay safe from the coronavirus. I mean the coronavirus. Follow the rules, guys. Stay safe. God bless you. Jesus is Lord. Every knee will bow and proclaim that he is Lord, including your knees, Muslims. Please leave Muhammad. Drop him and come back to Jesus, your Lord and Savior. Guys, don't forget to subscribe. Smash that like button. Thank you for watching. And... God bless. Lord willing, we will see each other again in an amazing live show like today. God bless.